This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 715 Tuesdays. We've been talking professionalized wrestling, and here we are to cope with today's current events. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here, safe in the yellow zone uh, in Pittsburgh, PA, Sorgatron Media Studios. With us, we have a whole crew with us. First of all, from Beacon, New York, he's the only Mayhemer with a future endeavored from the WWE, future endeavored letter from the WWE, he is mad. Mike? I'm not sure what zone Beacon is, but I'm pretty sure it's Char- Chargers. What? what? <laughs> Did we all fuck up our, our marks there? <laughs> hmm? What? Is that your code? Is that your, your code color? No, we don't have fucking codes. We're in New York. We're just, we're closed. We're just, it's just closed. We're closed, motherfucker. <laughs> we are deep from the lockdown. Deep from the lockdown. Um, yeah, like, like get the fuck out. <laughs> get the or, fuck out and the, stay the fuck in. Get the that's, fuck that's out. That's our new motto. And don't come here. <laughs> don't visit. Yeah. No, it's it. The state motto is no longer Excelsior. No. It's get the fuck out and stay the fuck in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it may seem contradictory, but it's not if you fucking get it. It's like a reverse Limp Bizkit, uh their lyric, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. good, good. The WWE's favorite band. Yes, it is. Uh, also with us straight from his kitchen is Mainstream Matt. Matt, Mike, I must critique you here. When you're doing the Limp Bizkit favorite band the whole world, you must not slip into Howard Finkel. That is a Tony Chimmel impersonation. Mm. Is it not? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, to be fair... Let's not drag down the fink. To be fair, I don't have a Chimmel impression. So mm. it's either going to be Finkel or Don Pardo from SNL. <laughs> going to be one or the other. I was waiting yeah. Finkel or Einhorn. Uh, <laughs> Musical <laughs> guy. Finkel is Bisco. Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. Also with us straight from the chat room and Tiny Shutter Podcast is Dave Podner joining us. Hey, Zorg. And yes, we are live from the yellow zone this week. Yay! As we are virtually doing everything virtually. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Wait, you're virtually doing everything virtually. How do you pee? <gasps> you know, no, like, never, mind. never mind. I just saw upload. I know how you pee. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> I got it. I get it. I get yeah, it. 100% yeah. recycling. By the way, 100% recycling. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Upload <laughs> upload on uh, Amazon Prime. Worth seeing. It has yeah. the other guy, that the, the other brother that's not Arrow in uh, it. 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 Sorg, Sorg, put some damn respect on Robbie and Mel's name. Put some respect on that name. Okay, he was Firestorm. He's the lead in the movie The Duff, which is excellent. Whoa. An Wait, underrated film. Is that another Disney Com, no, decom. no, 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 it, it, it's it's more in the vein of easy. A, mm, I don't know, I don't know, really. Sword, no, no, Sword, what the fuck are we even doing here? All right, this I, is this just became an easy podcast. Oh, wait, Everyone, I, I, I obviously we need you to guest right on uh, uh, Shirley Doe's BNS about movies uh, website, yeah. which I just mentioned for the second time tonight. Uh, so you get all the plugs, though. What's up? Uh, but anyways. Um, wait, no, I, I introduced everybody. No, we did that. We did that. Hi, everybody. This is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Go check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find out this and other podcasts and past episodes through the history. Hope all those old links work from 10 years ago. Uh, talk to you. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can go over there. You can subscribe to the show in your favorite podcatcher. You can also email us at that email address. <laughs> Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412 412- 
two zero six WMS zero. Follow us at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Hit up our Facebook page and group. A lot of great stuff being shared over there. A lot of great stuff for from friends of the show, including uh, 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 Potter referee Potter's book about Devil Budokan. We shared over there, as well as a great thing that PB Smooth and Derek Direction are doing for our friend Dutters is over there that we might mention a little bit more here later in the show. And also, um, we are here live every Tuesday at nine PM Eastern on Facebook Live, as well as Periscope, YouTube, and Twitch. I'm pointing at the phones with the chat rooms on them right now. We are keeping eye on them. So uh, if you do have any chats over there, but the main one, a lot of people joining us over on that Facebook page. If you are on any of those right now, please do us a favor, hit a like, a heart, a share, whatever that case may be, so people can uh, jump in on the Mayhem as well if you're checking us later on the podcast wherever that may be uh please hit a review hit a star rating hit a share once again so you can help share the mayhem with someone else and help us get in front of more people and grow the mayhem universe uh also check out um thank you actually our friends at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show we share a lot of stuff there throughout the week including uh to our friends at the fan of the show level Bo Diggity! Woo! Uh, Bed Burke, Bobby FJ Town, Team Hammer Fist, and uh, at the Poppy Club level, Bradley Ruthers, Dave Potter, Daniel Towery, and Tina Keys. Our friends at the Pizza Club level, Doc Remedy and Cal Turner, and our friends at the Manager level, Occupy Pro Re- Pro Wrestling dot com and Farnsworth International. I'm sorry, Farnsworth Investments. There's something else we do. That's a bit for another show. Uh, you guys can support the show, too, at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. You get special stuff, the the pre-show, the mid-show, um, stuff we do off air from time to time as well. And, of course, you do get a say in things going on. And uh, once in a while, we, we, we shoot a little discount over there uh, for things going on at indiawrestling.us as well. So, please, thank you, everybody that has been supporting the show, especially through things going on here uh, in the world. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, I really do appreciate that. And you guys are helping keeping uh, the lights on in our hosting and the lights in the studio sometimes, too. So wrestling for this week, there is some stuff going on. There is some some AEW pay-per-view this weekend, which seems odd to me that they're going ahead and doing that as well. Uh, oh, so uh, and actually some interest in that. So I honestly do not know. I've been kind of iffy on AEW watching lately, partially because there have been some other things on Wednesdays happening for me. Um, Matt, you you are not only is AEW being bored and doing a pay per view, you are being bored with a pay per view party uh, as well. And, and, and so well, I figure I mean, you we you have... are in the yellow zone now. Yeah, Sorg, yes, we so are. Yes, we're allowed to at least look at each other. Good. So good. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's painful. To watch wrestling with no fans present in the arenas, and it's it's I need something. And you know, as much fun as the uh, the video hangouts have been mm-hmm. uh, for the last couple pay per views or so, I figured you know what I think now is the time to roll the dice, um, <laughs> potentially with our lives. I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's, that's, a, that's not a good phrase. Watch party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But how do we do this safely, Sorg, in these trying times? These uncertain times. How mm-hmm. can we possibly do this? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do it outside. Mm-hmm. So we will not be in this house that I'm in. You will not see this kitchen, Sork. No. This so kitchen, it, your eyes so will not lay eyes on outside these. Outside your house. Outside my house. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so we're going to have the our, our, our expansive rear driveway paved area laid out, chalked out insensible six foot boxes um away from each other everyone will be know exactly what their boundaries are um we'll have a little one way um arrows pointing up and down the aisles to come back and forth and then we'll just you know we'll bring their we'll bring our big screen outside and we'll prop it up and we'll you know fire up the chromecast and we'll stream that vr live straight to it and we will watch double or nothing outside under the stars um, on the screen, safely away from each other. Mm-hmm. Bring your own food. Bring your own drink. No we are serving nothing. No. It has taken <laughs> everything in Jen's power not to prepare food and drink for this sort. I told her no. 
No, you no, no, Terry, no, you can't do this. You cannot <laughs> serve food and drink. We cannot share food and drink with our guests. They have to bring their own food and drink. If we start sharing food and drink, you know, who knows what could happen? And no, also, it would be yeah. very hard. You could, you 20... could make you could make <laughs> We have some. If I bring Lunchables into this house, they are gone in two days. I have two kids. <laughs> yeah, with their loud ass I mean, iPads. Like, All right, you can you can make like upscale Lunchables, like like get little get little uh, individually wrapped pack like plastic packages. Like here, like yeah, there, if you love, love, like here is your meal. Here is your meal. Here is your meal. Yeah, everyone gets a Ziploc else. bag. Oh everyone Kim comes in to get a Ziploc bag with a Capri Sun and a Lunchable <laughs> and uh, the little uh, little uh, applesauce pouches with the little twist tops on. I'm going to get those one of those. Yeah, those, those things are pretty good. You're going to get a hermetically sealed Hostess cupcake for dessert. <laughs> um, and that's and, and, and you know what? Now, now look what you've gone and done. Now Jen's <laughs> going to start preparing for this party. And now I'm going to have to buy food and drink for everybody. Thanks a whole goddamn so, lot. Yeah, um, the point is, I did not get a chance to mention a hard cap at 25 guests. We are not going above 25. We have rules here, Sorg, in what, the yellow how, zone. How big we is your yard? have a gathering of more than 25 could, could people. You, could That's you... the tipping point when disease starts to spread. Perhaps you haven't heard. <laughs> There's a question. There's a question about how you're handling bathroom facilities. Bye. Oh, um, yeah. Um, we yeah, have a tree, that, that, we have a tree a in the backyard. Good, that's a very good question. Yes. We there's have a, um, there's a tree in the backyard. Yes. You're in suburbia. I don't think that, that's not a hidden spot, is it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I, mean I grew up, no, yo, I, do that. I grew up in the country. Everyone gets their own bottle of water. You drink the water. And then you leave <laughs> yourself in the bottle. It's one size fits all. It's very simple. Tip. Make Everyone sure you finish the water before you um, use no. the bottle. Yeah. Um, no, we, we have we have a we have a bathroom in our basement, and I'm talking not talking to one of those rinky dink, you know, just a toilet in the middle of the floor base bathrooms like you see in other Pittsburgh homes. This is like a real bathroom. All right, oh, you've seen my and, studio uh, at home. So we're gonna send we're gonna send the uh, the, the the biohazard oh. crew in there. Yeah. Ladies, uh, and no one's gonna go in there for the for the rest of the week. And then uh, when we go in there, you know, there will be like. Um, <laughs> You know, three or four stops for hand sanitizer between the bathroom and coming back out to the garage. And, uh, you know, I think everything should be fine. We'll be there fine. And apparently, we'll be fine. and apparently, clothing optional. Hey, apparently, clothing is optional. As what? I said, it's suburbia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Shock. Drive by. Shock. Exactly. Yeah, we're going to mark it out. The children are going to measure. Oh, and measure it all out. Okay, one way aisles, just like the supermarket. Just, one way up, hey, one way just back. Like they do at the White House, it's fine. Just like they do at the White House, where <laughs> everything is done very safely. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to bring your mask, bring your mask. You know, maybe I'll wear my mask in front of you, uh, so that you feel better about things. And uh, you know, we'll come out there. We'll have some fun. And, but I mean, uh, Matt, Matt, will there be inner tubes that we can put around ourselves no. as spacers? No. Well, then you can't no, get to that's the bathroom. That's what the chalk so. outlines are for. We'll, we'll have we'll have we'll have single boxes and we'll have doubles boxes. So you, you should let us know in advance. Do you want a doubles box or do you want a single box? You know, and then we'll chalk it out appropriately. Well, say, so, um, or just be greedy and you get a double box for everybody. We need to bring our masks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got to bring your mask. I'm just making sure. Is this yeah. is this approved for the yellow zone? Yeah, that is actually the exact opposite of the mask yes. that we were thinking <laughs> that, of. That, so. that, yes. <laughs> we, wait, but on. it looks nice. What's the exact opposite of delirious? Mm. Well, um, <laughs> Lance, uh, Lance Storm. Yeah, but he didn't wear a mask. No, but it would be the opposite to be. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> oh, all right, okay. So the mask that the Miz wore when he was the Canadian kid. Got it. Okay. Okay. Now, we did not invite Mad Mike. So I just want to <laughs> let that know, make that clear, too. Because well, yeah, well, 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 New well, York is not exporting right now. Right. So sadly, he can't, he he can't, he can't, he can't let alone leave his house, let alone. Yeah, he can't even leave his house, yeah, let alone yeah. cross state it's lines. State, state lines, yes. Yeah. If he would, right. if he crossed New York into Pennsylvania, he would just spontaneously like, poof into a puff of smoke, be gone. Matt, why do you think I'm going to do it? 
<laughs> he's like get me out of here he's making a run for the border that would be the pennsylvania mm-hmm. border but it's a little less yeah. a little less exciting exactly uh so the point uh, I was, yeah, as I was, you can see no precaution is being spared on this i, on I was this trying gathering. to segue be, uh, into a preview for the pay-per-view but i think this is also informative for people right now because there is well, i mean you can't really preview a pay-per-view it barely has any matches on it okay well, you mean it barely true. has any matches it's got matches on it we also right. have like another show between now and then. So, well, yeah, they do have a Wednesday night show. They can add. That's right. Course, so, so, so tell me, how it. are they? I mean, I'm not up on this. Are are they also doing this from the same place that they've been doing the uh, the the current tapings? Uh, or, sounds like it. Sounds yeah, like yeah, they, well, they, they are. And, and and don't forget, they're going to do the big inner circle versus um, elite plus Matt Hardy. Yeah, in mm-hmm. the empty football stadium. Yeah, where the, the, the Jacksonville Jaguars play. Yeah, mm-hmm. what? Yeah, what? you know what? The entire empty stadium. stadium. Yeah. What mm-hmm. a great alternative I'm, location right. to be able yep. to do a match, though. If you have access to a full stadium, you use that. Stadium. Hey, I mean, the NFL isn't going to be using it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but here's the thing about that match: if that match doesn't end with an army of drones. Going after the elite. <laughs> what, yeah. what well, I, I mean, I can I mean, only not, assume not that after the inner circle. Excuse me. Nope. Sorry, we just had a run in. Sorry. Yeah, we did. We had a run in here. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, Dutters is here. Dutters is here. Stone Cold Dutters is here. Ah. <laughs> we saw your th- we saw your 316 uh a day <laughs> yeah just slam the power aids together fantastic dutters is here uh doing a run-in how are you doing good how's it going guys you, oh you just had a run-in <laughs> your i did how did he run in i did on the run-in was, was that a larry was- blur <laughs> I, did you hear Bart Gunn's music come on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, there He's we go. Beer. It's, a, it's my prop can, but it works. Oh. I was yeah. going to say, now smash it on your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's my prop can for video appearances. By the way, if you're not on video here, she is showing off her fantastic Animal Crossing wrestling ring as well. And then that's a mm-hmm. Steve Austin Broken Skull can as well. For, for this. <laughs> so. <laughs> 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 Fantastic. So, so Dutters, you you kind of made some wrestling news today. I did. I <laughs> I had no idea. It was a surprise. Mm-hmm. So yes, all kinds of surprises, left and right. So, um, yes. Uh, my friends. Uh, well, my friend PB Smooth issued a challenge. Uh, I don't know. He's got these. Uh, uh, this, there's this really cool exercise bike that's very popular. Not a Peloton. It's something else. But an um, air bike, cool. right? Yeah, air bike, air bike. Yeah. And he's been, uh, you know, using that and loving that. And uh, he called out Derek Direction. He was like, dude, uh, let's turn this into a, a fundraiser. So him and Derek are riding for me. Uh, I think, I hope they don't die because mm-hmm. the plan mm-hmm. is for every $10 donated through this GoFundMe that they set up, uh, essentially they ride for 20 second sprints and take a 10 second break. Right now they're at $460. Oh, jeez. <laughs> And the goal is a thousand. The link's been and up for like an hour, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The link is, I think you're right. I think the link's been public for like an hour. And uh, yeah, so I'm really hoping that they both survive this because it was mm-hmm. be really funny. Mm-hmm. And we're showing the video from PB there for you guys on video uh, from his initial challenge. So, so this was, so, you know, of course, you know, people don't know, you, you, you've been uh, going through the process uh, with chemotherapy and everything right now. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, so uh, for those that maybe aren't following you, can you give just super, super quick update on what's going on and, and, and why everybody started to go fund me other than we we're going to watch them die. <laughs> yeah, just the other than that there. fun uh, and the trash talking that's going to go with it. I can't wait. Uh, So on December 24th, I was diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Uh, I started after a long process of several doctor's appointments, a million tests. um, I started chemo in March. I I did a a tougher round of chemo, which they call the AC or the red devil. Mm -hmm. And I did that every other week for um, eight weeks. And then I started a round of Taxol, which takes about 12 weeks. I, as of today, I had, I had a treatment earlier today. 
this is my Tuesday. I go to chemo and then I pop in on podcasts like, mm-hmm. like the, the awesome cast. And then they invite me on the mayhem show and I have five more rounds of chemo left. And the plan is to have surgery July 21st. And then um, so maybe possibly radiation, but uh, hopefully by the end of the year, this will all be wrapped up and I could move on to other things and drop my stone cold cosplay for a bit. But <laughs> <laughs> I make a great stone cold. <laughs> Yeah, that picture was uncanny that you dropped there a few <laughs> a few months ago. So I'm just like, at least you're making the most out of the, uh, the I'm going to say hairstyle, but it wasn't really a choice. But uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just waiting for you to get back to the Rhea Ripley look. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. no offense, that was boss. <laughs> I honestly, I think I'm good. That's the plan is like, I'm not even going to try to like grow anything beyond a buzz cut um, till at some point next year. Mm-hmm. Um because it grow, it's really weird. It's if you don't know anything about chemo and chemo hair is when after you lose it, it comes back clear and kind of kinky, curly, weird. Oh, because it's it's just growing out that stuff, the kind of cucky stuff, and then you get rid of that, and then your own hair starts kind of growing back in place. It might be slightly different than your original hair. Don't get caught up in that. But uh, yeah, so I'm starting with that. I do have a full head. You can't tell, but I have a full head of white chemo hairs at this point. And they'll grow out. And then I'll have my buzz cut back again, which I really like that too. I was like, hey, that's not bad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so, that's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. So, so, so there- we're going to need Halloween so I can do all my uh, cosplays of my shaved head wrestling ladies and gents. Awesome. Hopefully, hopefully we're allowed to Halloween. By the way, if you have a bald wrestler you want Dutters to cosplay as, yeah, yes, the wrestling show dot com. Absolutely, I can do Kurt Angle. I got milk. I'm gonna find some medals. Anybody? Have- yes, yes. Hunter, send her your medals. <laughs> yes, Hunter. Medals? Did someone say medals? Yes. Medals. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> I love this already. I do have some marathon medals. I should pull those. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But so you, 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 you mean like my my my, my Colomo medals right right oh, behind oh, me here? Wow. <laughs> Can we get you access to a large fire hose? <laughs> Jeez. Milkomania. No. <laughs> I'm all in. Yeah. So send me your oh, send them to the good times at show.com. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So if anybody uh, out there, of course, you know, we'll, the, you'll see this share. We already shared. I think uh, both the videos have been shared over the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook. Uh, but if you guys want to drop that link, if you're listening anywhere else, uh, bit.ly slash airbike four let number four dutters. That's two two Ds. Well, I guess three Ds, but three D dutters. Three D three D dutters. That's another one. Ah! Yes. <laughs> uh it's all coming together uh but anyways no it's, it's been it's been a great uh thing to see see pop up here today and they're like I say they're already at 460 dollars of their thousand dollar goal <laughs> oh my so uh go check that out uh over there too so awesome awesome no thank you for uh, uh popping in and uh and, and give us an update then because i know i know it's been kind of a a, a crazy day for you Oh, it's been wild. It's always wild. I, I couldn't do boring at this point. I feel like awesome. it's just like one thing after another. What's next? <laughs> so I know, I know you're not, uh, you know, I know you're watching the social distancing and everything, you know, considering what you're going through on top of everything the world's going through. Uh, we were just talking about a social distancing wrestling party <laughs> that I think you're aware of. So, uh, so that, that's been a, an interesting uh, endeavor here uh, this week. So I didn't know if you had any thoughts or you caught any of the discussion before you popped in here. No, I just I just dove in. Just dove in. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, if you want to hang out for a couple until the break, uh, uh, please feel free. Uh, oh, sure. In the meantime, in the meantime, I got just a minute of business to do, and maybe we'll actually talk about what AEW is actually doing for I a minute. I do appreciate that Dutters is the only one that has wrestling in her background. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's Dutters Animal Crossing wrestling ring. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I got a folding chair. I'm very upset because I, I got it. But you can't oh. do anything. It just sits there. So it sits Dutters, there with Dutters. Panda uh, Heyman. I'm, I'm coming by your, your island tonight. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> so, I, so I can pick up your folding chair and put it back down so I can buy, <laughs> so I can buy my own folding chairs. Oh, absolutely. And I owe yeah. you, I got a new um, gold bobblehead lucha yes. wrestler that I have to send to you too. Awesome. Uh, Magma CK has a wonderful outside setup he's been doing. Like you did like the arena. He's doing yeah. the indie wrestling in the back lot uh concept <laughs> that, that's, what, that's what mine looks like right now yeah like yeah. Mine, mine looks like 
um, the people who set up for base brawl, but just stopped halfway through. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, just with these like sparse, socially distanced chairs out there, and 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 I'll just have somebody with a mask, and we'll just you just have I, tweets to say I parts unknown. Have, I do have really nice steel ring steps that head up to my ring now. Nice, Ooh. nice. Yeah. Build the best, build the best Animal Crossing arena. There's the new <laughs> challenge for you right there. Well, guys, if you want to remember a day when wrestling had fans, and maybe a little bit in the future where they won't, uh, India Wrestling dot US, India Wrestling dot Network. A lot of great stuff going on over there, uh, including our, our our quarantine buddy talks we've had over the last several weeks, uh, uh, checking in with everybody, making sure our wrestling f- friends were doing well. Including we talked last week with Joe Dabrowski, especially about his latest. Uh, Heartland Wrestling uh, special, uh, uh, Wrestling from the Heartland, that's available, of course, on IndieWrestling.us and over on his site as well. Uh, so a lot of great stuff to help pass the time. And we noticed a lot of people are taking part in the Indie Wrestling Network. Uh, that has definitely not slowed down, even if the live new content has. But we are still rolling out a lot of best of, still some planned for this month coming out as well, as well as the old series. If you haven't checked them out yet, Wrestle with Rigatoni, um, The Rise of the Nerd with Lewis the Nerd as he left rise wrestling in the pittsburgh area and uh, you can just dive into that plus our youtube page has a lot of a lot of pittsburgh history wrestling and of course please go check out all of our friends all of our friends are doing some really interesting things uh prospect pro wrestling has done two watch alongs our friends at renegade wrestling alliance are doing a 64 person interactive tournament that we just got past the first round of and i believe a i i believe a child may be involved in the next round somehow <laughs> <laughs> that's your teaser um you have to stick around rwa's facebook page to find out what's going on there our friends of fight underground have been doing the fight councils that have been heated and controversial on wednesday nights on the fight underground facebook page and our friends at rise are doing something very fun on their patreon page if you go follow them as well um they are doing a fire pro wrestling rise show somebody on that roster has done some fantastic work and i will just for no reason slide in a, a plug for bns about movies.com and they are putting together a a match card with promos i saw tyler klein cut the promo on this um it's it's i've seen some of the stuff in the works it is fantastic if you love rise wrestling with a y and you love fire pro wrestling um, or, or don't know anything about Fire Pro Wrestling, either way, you're going to want to check in on this when this uh, uh, launches here in the coming uh, days, weeks. I, I don't know what the time frame is for what they're doing over there. So please support all of our friends doing some really cool stuff here at IndieWrestling.us, uh, IndieWrestling.network, and of course, all, all their Facebook pages as well. Um, people are being very inventive and making sure there's some cool stuff coming. And I can promise you there's some stuff in the works that's very exciting uh, for this um, um, interesting time uh, to produce new content. So a lot of new ideas are bubbling in the works with a lot of great promotions out there. So please, um, uh, you know, recognize that, you know, when you do see it, share it, love those guys, uh, buy the pre, uh, pro wrestling tees, or whatever the case may be to support everybody through this until we get back to uh, indie wrestling the way we like it uh, here in the future. So uh, indie wrestling US. Okay. So where were we? Wrestling in a stadium. So, so sorry, we were talking about forty or uh, thirty day fiance. Yeah. All right. No, no, no. That was the pre show. That was oh. the come on, come on. Don't get me started. Jen's gonna come back and and continue that conversation there. Um yeah. uh, Potter, we haven't had you on for for a bit, other than the chat room, of yeah. course. How, oh, yeah. how how have you been dealing with um um the wrestling we've been we've been kind of uh, given the last couple of months here? It's it's been tough. It, 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 honestly, it has been tough just because it, it seems like AEW is a at least for me a more watchable product. And unfortunately, at least from my standpoint, it's because they got people in the stands who are reacting, which mm-hmm. is a negative because I don't like like if you want to have people in the stands. You know, maybe there are wrestlers who are roommates mm-hmm. and they're already next to each other. Yeah. But when you get everyone together and interacting and t- that, no, you shouldn't be doing. I hate I hate to sound like, you know, 
like, like a, a someone just nagging saying now you kiddies you stay away you shouldn't be, but you shouldn't <laughs> be that close and i'm sorry but oh we we uh, are they testing people when they're coming in mm-hmm. i doubt it they're probably doing the oh we're making sure no one has a fever yes and no one looks sick yes which i uh, no I, that I, doesn't work. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't seen. All I've seen is is what the unions doing the production have uh, been sharing. Uh, yeah. But I, I I have not noticed. And not to say it's not out there. Any statement from the company itself. Um, I I know both them and WWE came under fire this past week on uh, John Oliver, uh, who's in, in UFC as well, which we talked about the the wonderfully named Fight Island. Uh, so let Mortal Kombat begin. <laughs> I yeah, serious. <laughs> Shang Tsung is just all about this. Um, so so I, I yeah, I, it, it's strange because AEW like works for me because of that presentation yeah. until you start breaking that down and you're just like, because like, well, like I, it's I, I don't get why we're not just piping in crowd cheers. Well, apparently the NFL. Why hey, we're not doing that? Like that's the easiest way to do this. Uh, Bill Maher is doing hard. it. Bill Maher is doing it for his monologue to the point where I forgot that's what he was doing. Uh, and and uh, the NFL is going to do that this fall. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I don't see like you can even pipe in assholes chanting CM Punk. Mm-hmm. Why the hell am I? Like <laughs> honestly, well, th- we have the technology. It's not difficult. Well, or, and, and hell, score the fucking arenas. Uh, yeah. Roll back for a minute. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't just like, point of, get like point of a order, point of like order, point of order. Like, pipe in our audio yeah. over it. We're pretty good. Uh, yeah. uh, so, so I wanted to roll back here because Tina said something very important in the chat room. They said they did mention on the broadcast that they are testing the the uh, wrestlers themselves. So that is happening. Yeah, but they're but company that's with not money. Everyone who's there. Uh, is, well, is not, well, not only that, but define. I hate to say, define testing the wrestlers. When exactly, did I get yeah. tested? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, did you get tested the day you it's like, OK, we're taping two shows today. Mm-hmm. You're going to get tested in the morning. Yeah. And we're going to hold off until we get everyone, you know, and which test I hate. I mean, I hate uh, to get in the, the weeds, but which tests are they using? Some of those tests are not exactly the most accurate in the world, yeah, especially the yeah. quicker ones. And, yeah. and, and if they're a company that size with that money, you know, like, hopefully they're they're using whatever Hollywood's doing, whatever Larry King was using in in, in March. You know, uh, you know, to, to the rapid tests and things like that. So, yeah. I mean, in, in you know, they're they're doing the best thing that money can buy, probably to make sure these shows still happen. Well, like, I mean, if you honestly, if you want to do the best thing money can buy, you say, okay, here's what we're gonna do. And I, I'm stealing this from someone else, and I forget exactly where I saw it, but okay, everyone's staying in this hotel for two weeks. Mm-hmm. Then we're gonna tape. A month's worth of shows, mm-hmm. and then we're going to keep you in this hotel for two weeks, mm-hmm. and then you all can go home. I believe, and then we'll repeat and, and it what again. You, and what you do in the meantime and in between time is you have everyone film promos from their hotel rooms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can build feuds that way, and you can run matches from old pay per views with new commentary to further build yeah. those matches. I just, like it's not fucking rocket science. Yeah, we yeah. we don't get paid for this stuff. We figured this out. It's not complicated. Both it, companies have enough resources. And it's a lot it. easier than, and I think where you got that partner, because both the Major League Baseball was looking into doing something similar in Phoenix with all their teams, mm-hmm. which just, it was astronomical, the logistics of it with their, all the support well, staff. But, and then yeah, but I mean, Germany, uh, for soccer, I believe, attempted this <laughs> recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Do you know what Germany did, Sork? Huh. Do you know Germany? Did you hear about this? I I did hear about this. This is one of the points that was made on John Oliver this past weekend. <laughs> tell me, tell tell the world, <laughs> tell the world. This is fantastic. <laughs> I want to do this. You pay the 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 soccer company money to have your likeness scanned onto cardboard and oh. inserted into the crowd. I didn't know about this. Oh, okay. See, I listened to PTI. They were talking about no, this. No, I, like, I heard about how they I'm screwed like, it up. Because I, I I'm heard, like, I heard the this co- sounds amazing. So, so, because, so we're, we're doing next level studio wrestling from the 50s mm-hmm. and 60s. Mm-hmm. Well, that's also uh, what the, instead honestly, of having generic cardboard people, we're having people scanned as cardboard people. No, and see, here's what you do. I'm, I'm telling you, this is exactly how you do it. Like, WWE has backlash coming up, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's what you do. 
WWE can charge $150, right? $150. You <laughs> send them a picture from your waist up wearing your favorite WWE merch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. No. And then what they do is they take your image, they scan it. They put you in the front row. And then guess what? They send you that seat. <laughs> Boom. You get your pay-per-view chair. Easy. Fucking solutions. Because then it looks like you have a crowd. You pump in the crowd noise. God, it's it's Boom. too it's too bad you don't work for any of these companies that you can suggest them. <laughs> it's really a shame. Yeah, yeah. But like how and you know motherfuckers would pay that. Hell, I pay that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I fucking pay that easily. Mm-hmm. I'd even pay 200 for that, probably. Mm-hmm. Like, and you can you sell get, rows. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can have your entire family there watching the pay-per-view. Or mm-hmm. you can just have you across the entire row. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I, I think you have I think you have because because th- then you get into a cloning debate. So we're gonna yeah, know yeah. that we're not ready. <laughs> we're not ready for that on top of what's going on right now. Yeah, no, we can't no. even handle having more than one Uso at this point. So <laughs> <laughs> Oof, neither can they. Neither can they. Uh <laughs> But oh. and and if they want if they want to make everyone feel all happy and, and you know about themselves about supporting they could say oh it's one hundred and fifty dollars and we're going to donate ten dollars twenty dollars mm-hmm. to the Red Cross for relief fund or we're going to you know for every seat we're going to donate fifty lo- masks to a hospital yeah. or something yeah, like or that or local food uh, pantries in Florida exactly it's like, yeah. it's like every large company that's selling masks right now like if there's not a portion of that going towards a charity they it's a real bad look right yeah, yeah exactly I mean it's something exactly. it's something if you're a person on Etsy making a mask you know that doesn't have your day job because the thing is going on right now uh, or selling them for super cheap at cost, the, the support, you know, I mean, there's different levels of that, but I mean, we are kind of at the point, I don't know, the trikini was a thing where you have a face mask that, that matches your bikini. It's going to turn into style, but that's a whole other thing. But it is, yeah, so, wow. yeah, I, God, I've been learning a lot over the last couple of days. I've already ordered mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? Gotta have that quarantine body. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. In other in other words, I've been eating so much I need a bikini top. Mm. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> um so the AEW card. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm glad you asked. Yeah. I got it right here. Okay. Say, yeah. And, and Matt, you before you go, before, Matt, before you go into detail, yeah. one thing high level I noticed. Mm. Two women's matches. Hot Ooh. diggity. Hot diggity yeah. dog. On our way. And given their women's roster, unfortunately, I don't want to see three. <laughs> well, <laughs> just because this thing, you know, I'm, I'm not saying you know they're not trying hard. Just that for a pay per view, I'd real don't want them to see them stretch it out more than two. Like, guys, I got uh, I've I, got some talent that hasn't I gotta, been fully I, unleashed yet oh, yeah. that I wouldn't mind seeing. I got I got to bring up a comment for earlier. I believe this is when we're talking about our party. Uh, but Mama Flexor uh, said you should wear a hat with a pool noodle sticking out of them at the top uh, for social distancing. Mm-hmm. When we're talking, or about if the... or if you get a beanie, mm-hmm. just like put it on the center. Yeah, spin the pool noodle around. Anyone who gets in that zone, <laughs> yes, they as get a, smacked in the face with. The as noodle. you're running for the bathroom, out of the way. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. These visuals and are my noodle. Tina. Tina also says that Tony Khan has a breakdown on their podcast on how yes. they've been dealing with the pandemic. Apparently, they, they do go into great detail. I wish, like from the sound, I wish, I don't know that WWE has done the same for detailing that plan, um, other than have. some kind of a paragraph of sound bites. So, um, where is, like, why isn't Stephanie on Corey's podcast talking about this, right? Or, or Paul <laughs> or uh, Triple H or somebody, right? So just yeah, to, Triple H no, was on Corey's podcast. Triple H was on Corey's podcast. They didn't really talk. No, about well, that. but they talked about they talked <laughs> about the. I, I no, I did appreciate they talked about the process of ending up at the performance center. That was a good discussion. I I appreciate that on the production and 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 everything kind of point of view of it. But no, they didn't. You know, they're addressing handling this and still doing shows. They didn't get into the health and and, and well being thing. But I just feel like I feel like the company avoids it. And more than AAW does, you know, they, they, WWE is really good about avoiding things uh, <laughs> or really bad about avoiding things. So that it seems to be the motto. But uh, well, we'll see. We'll see how it shakes out. Anyways, there's a card with women's matches. 
Matt. <laughs> Matt. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but you just woo, coming up this Saturday. <laughs> a card with girls. Be there. Who are you, CCW? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Got him. Oh. Right. And oh, roasted. Him. Um. Okay. Uh. Cody versus Lance Archer for the TNT Championship. Um, the inaugural TNT championship. And, uh, uh, and Matt, Matt, hold on. What, what? Who is that championship presented by? Hmm? Oh, Who's you're right. You're right. My, my, my bad. Mike Tyson will be on hand to present the championship <laughs> to the winner. My what? God damn and, uh, Tyson. I'm Someone's sure they're really going to Corona toward... test Mike Tyson. <laughs> who, want, who wants to be the one to do that swab? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> the Mike Tyson swab. Tyson swab. Um. All right. Moving on. Uh, MJF versus Jungle Boy. Uh, you're getting uh John Moxley defending the AEW World Championship against Brody Lee. Okay. You will. You will have uh Nyla Rose defending the AEW Women's Championship against Hikaru Shida. Okay. Uh, your aforementioned second girls match. <laughs> uh, Dr. Britt Baker versus Chris Statlander. Okay. Okay. You will have a uh, private party versus the best friends. Uh, that will be a number one contenders match for the tag titles. Uh, and uh, yeah, we mentioned the stadium stampede match. It is the elite plus Matt Hardy versus the inner circle. The elite. Wait, this is like algebra. The elite minus Cody plus Matt Hardy. Mm-hmm. versus the inner circle that's what that nice. one will be plus Pl- plus there will be... hangman page because we don't really know if he's in the elite he is he is listed here as being in the match so oh. i can only assume that he will find his way out of the woods and he will be there <laughs> so and, let's only uh, hope and matt because uh, things are says... looking rough for him right now out in the woods i'm worried yeah. for him yeah what's yeah up? it has been tina, tina says that Sheeta versus nyla is an odq match because oh. nyla found Sheeta's kendo stick bitch oh okay okay very nice uh, i didn't i, I didn't know, know she you know your kendo stick bitch but okay well and, i mean not, if you're, was... uh, perhaps you haven't noticed but when it comes to the verbiage involving the girls every sentence or so you must end it with bitch <laughs> or else you're just you're not working <laughs> You're not building matches. I'm a so. dentist, bitch. I'm a dentist, <laughs> bitch. Here's your kendo stick, bitch. All right. Bitch. Anyway, perhaps we've gone too far. Um, all right. Finally, um, casino ladder match for a future AEW World Championship match. Sorgi, this is half Royal Rumble, half Money in the Bank ladder match. What? Okay. Yes. What? There is there is an object hanging above the ring. The competitors will be coming out at regularly timed intervals to enter the match. Whoever climbs the ladder and gets the object first is the winner. Okay? I, I don't and here are the participants. Come in late. <laughs> that is a rough one. for. See, but, this but is wait, nice, though, because now, this is the reverse of the Royal Rumble. See, in the Royal Rumble, if you come in early, you're like, damn it, I'm coming in early. But if you get, like, the late number... In the casino ladder match, you're like, dang it, I hope so, they're still out there, you know? But, but, like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, can we all agree with that? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Are you, not, sense. Are you not allowed no. to climb the ladder until everybody's out there, like War Games? No, 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 no. I think they can climb the ladder whenever they damn well want to climb Strange. the ladder. Strange. See, that's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah, it doesn't funny. make any fucking sense. That's like telling no, me. No, that, that, that's sense. stupid. No, that's, that's, yeah. no, that, that's TNA. This is not TNA. That's the key of the the mountain ladder match. Explain the match to you in one sentence. It is not TNA. Yeah, I can explain the the match to you in one (laughs) sentence. It's a run-on sentence, but I can do it. (laughs) (laughs) All right. uh, Participants in the ladder match thing are Darby (laughs) Allen, Colt Cabana, Orange Cassidy, Ray Phoenix, Scorpio Sky, Kip Sabian, Frankie Kazarian, Luchasaurus, and somebody else. Vinny Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> no, Jimmy Vegas. We had this argument last night. Yeah, I know. No, I still want Vinny Vegas. I still want Jimmy Vegas. That's fine. <laughs> uh, if, if I'm going to make an actual guess, I would not be shocked if it's Drew Gulak. Yeah, but um, kinda, my money, it. my money's on Brian Cage. Take take your pick of Black Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it hasn't been hasn't been ninety days. I don't think they got a ninety days on that. The way oh they yeah, they yeah. did. Oh yeah, on Drew. Oh. Yeah, you uh, I don't think Drew did because it was a contract. No, expire. no, Drew because his contract Black, was up. Yeah. Black Wednesday people, so that they have a ninety day 
But, yeah, so like, okay, don't yeah, be expecting yeah. Rusev. Don't be expecting uh, Zack Ryder. I feel like don't be expecting some of the ninety. Di- so some of the Black Wednesday people might have been expirations. Maybe like they were like, just like, like like maybe maybe revival. But. Yeah, yeah, they're they were like kind of like, hey, we're just not going to sign you, like right now. So, mm. well, that means no Kane K- Velasquez. Mm. <laughs> no Mike Kyoto. No Mike Kyoto. Damn. Damn it. Oh, that would have been nice too. <laughs> you wild. Mike Kyoto versus versus uh, versus, D, versus Moxley for the AEW title. That <laughs> that'll pull our butts in the seats. What a turn! What a turn! All right. <laughs> is that all the AEW? That is all the matches listed right now. So. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad nobody's putting over a classic wrestling match. For that show. Perhaps possibly the greatest match of all time made. God. I here's so <laughs> hey, I did that's not even gonna be the best wrestling match of that hour did, of the match of the year. Did WWE <laughs> marketing like go on furlough as well? <laughs> I just imagine like the first time they said it, like Randy and Edge like in the backstage oh, and they God. say it, you know, and they <laughs> both are to... just like because oh, I know the, the problem <laughs> is <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sounded exactly like Edge. Well, like, yeah. yeah, I've heard enough of him react to Christian on their podcast. <laughs> that was a dead on Edge impression. Just the the knowing how Our Randy many... impersonation is harder to find. So yeah, yeah I guess that'll work. <laughs> knowing how many times I heard the risk is greater than the reward over the last month, that just <laughs> killed me and, every time. And and by the way probably not the best message to send nowadays <laughs> <laughs> probably not the best message that's like that that billboard in texas that says risk it for the brisket no thank you <laughs> i've been to that bucky's too i saw that billboard i'm like no that's the exit that's the one i would have visited if i went to texas this year <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah risk it for the- by the way whichever Whichever indie fed in Texas comes back first. <laughs> if, if your event name is not risk it for the brisket, <laughs> you're failing. <laughs> you're failing. Or you don't even have to sell brisket at your event. So you have to name your event. We back. we I think I've had the brisket at Bucky's and I wouldn't risk it for it. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. It was great, but that's not, not I'm not risking it. Uh I, I, we can can we also do we, that can also be a Pittsburgh show if we get Yin's Love Barbecue to sponsor right? I mean, come on. I mean, you could, you could also pick you know, you can also pick like a more Pittsburgh themed food on the brisket try, try, too. Yeah, yeah, because like you know, I don't, granted, I, I don't live there. I don't think they're known for their briskets. I feel like <laughs> if we did a show with a reference to col- col- French fries and coleslaw, like Permani is going to sue that company. I, I, I have a feeling per- per- he can do a pierogi related one. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you got you got something pierogi related pierogi. or Paluski pierogi. or pierogi palooza. Mm-hmm. Um, I got nothing mm. else. Got a gogi for the pierogi. Mm. Mm. RWA has got a gogi for the pierogi. Well, or, or 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 maybe something tied in with a pickle. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, no, no, that would be WMS's put a pickle on it. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, go, 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 go find There'd out. Be a jar of pickles on every ring post. Go find Chachi says on Twitter. I, I believe Chachi's lawyers would contact us about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would still have... own the show, so it's all good. Oh, right. I figured he'd be sponsoring it. <laughs> yeah. You're right. He, he probably wouldn't sponsor it. Jeez. Um, By the way, Tina wants to know if you guys have any bets on who the mystery opponent is I for the we, ladder match. Mike Yoda all the way, right? I, I think we just did that, right? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't thinking about Brian Cage, but that sounds perfectly legit. Yeah. So, mm. Yeah, cool. I, I, I really, I mean, Gulak would be like a major up yours to Vince, but I don't think they could they would pull it around that they, you know it's not like oh we were planning this mystery oh no no throw him out we want this guy who just left like four days ago man yeah. who knows if it was sean spears they can say all right you can sit down mr ken <laughs> eh, that's true yeah <laughs> yeah yeah but if they were doing like a surprise outside person yeah i don't 
if, if it was if this was a tag thing, I could see. Well, it depends on whatever the rival are allowed to call themselves. But mm-hmm. <laughs> those guys, those guys over there. How about right. Wash and Dialder? <laughs> <laughs> I was just barely learning their names. <laughs> to try and By figure way, out which one I, was which. I realize it's spelled Wash. We would have to pronounce it Wash. Mm-hmm. Wash. 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 <laughs> Uh, uh, by the way, did anybody watch this week's um, Undertaker Last Ride? I, didn't I did. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. So uh, can I give a minor spoiler for you, Mad Mike? Yes. Okay, minor spoiler alert. Because keep in mind, we've seen all these events. Well, well, yeah, but there's like some background <laughs> stuff that happens, right? Um, there, There's a scene kind of like the Edge thing where he's given a ring, but it's kind of a very different situation of where they put the ring. Um do you want to take any kind of guess on who Undertaker's workout buddy is? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, oh, yes. It's he's never getting it. No. Ooh, no. Wow. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Give me oh shit. Give me one hint. Give one, me one hint. hint. <laughs> one hint. No, one like, hint? like era. Like, is it new guy, older guy? Like uh he handle has... this sorg. Okay. He was on. He was on the WWE roster at the time the events were recorded. How's that for a hint? Now I've made it really obvious. Well, I've, I've narrowed it down, I think, a little bit. Oh, is he all right, is he still with the company? I don't I don't think they are. I think they got nope. let go last year. Yeah. Nope. He's in oh, a tag boy. team. Oh, the Ascension. No. no. Damn. Let's try Primo. Oh, wait! Are you sure it wasn't Epico? I was pretty sure it was Primo. Well, no. Did he? Did he look like WrestleFan? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Remember, Primo Cologne looks like Amy. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. So yep. you're you're right. That was definitely the most jaw bro- jaw dropping moment Primo of the entire Epico. episode. Was Undertaker, and they're like, "Well, I had to bring somebody in to." To work out with me, I'm like, oh my god, who's showing up to work out the Undertaker? And like one half of the shining stars rolls into the <laughs> warehouse. I'm like, what in the hell is this? <laughs> no, I, no, that makes sense to me. I mean, I, I like, I, you know what? It, it <laughs> elevates Epico. Pre- mm. I don't even know which one it was. Uh, <laughs> it, did it look like Eamon? I can't remember. Um, <laughs> you can't remember Eamon? What kind I can't of remember friend what are you? Listen, like. man. He's been gone for so long. Listen, um, it's, it, it was a, it was an emotional watch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, guys, uh, when I have emotional problems, I like to drown them in uh, some pizza from our good friend Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with perfect pepperoni pizza. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not going to do the tagline from earlier today. Uh, four locations here in Pittsburgh. Go check them out uh, and supporting uh, Pittsburgh Podcasting for a good long time. A good portion of this uh, uh, show's history has been supported by our friends Slice on Broadway. I got to see Rico himself tonight handing me my pizza at the door. Uh, our good buddies. Thank you everybody that's been supporting them. I know I've been getting messages of people have been ordering them and tagging the show. Really do appreciate it. Uh, please go check them out if you're uh, 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 need to, if you're still staying in uh and and want to uh have some good pizza i said mike's dancing mike's doing a pizza dance is that the pepperoni pizza Ooh. dance pepperoni so pizza you just I, want I pizza, want pizza. That's a, i want pizza dance Somebody i want, want pizza, pizza. <laughs> now we can't say anymore we're good pulled off yes yes good good, good, good <laughs> point good point don't want to do that during the ad uh we will be back you're going to get confused because you're going to hear katie's voice for a second and then we'll be back with a big question Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. I'm Eagles. Ha-ha. You're listening to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. And in case you forgot, my name is Armando Alejandro. If you don't show me, Estrada. Ha-ha. I, I, I just found the article. These are pretty... So... Yeah. So I didn't even see the names. I just saw the statement that they made. And I'm like, oh, that's full of shit. Yeah. yeah. So I saw so, a lot of the reactions from a lot of the female wrestlers, and they were like, so the t- yeah. the titles in question. This is the first reading I have of it. CZW girls with a Z, top heavy and tough was one of them. Uh, oh boy. Yeah. 
Yeah, including this Sat- already sounds like it's gonna be the list of uh, movies Randall needs to rent in Clerks. Yeah, it will, it will be. It will be. Let's see, uh, including Sassy Stephanie, uh, Tessa Blanchard, Cherry Bomb, Leva Bates, Athena. Uh, all these are different people now. Uh, <laughs> well, no, not all. Leave us. Well, many of them. Many of them are. Yeah. are the other, the other uh, CZW girls, hot and sweaty. Uh, oh, build boy. as featuring three sizzling matches. Okay. Dollhouse, chicks using nasty tax. That's a team name. That's a real team name. Uh, Veda Scott, Silla Darling, Hania. Wait a minute. Bates. I just figured that out. Holy crap. They actually went through with that. Is that a real team name? Yeah, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Holy moly. Versus the Dollhouse. Um, but uh, I mean, it was CZ like fucking the T- W. Like the TNA Dollhouse? The pay per view names. Wait. So these are. So we gonna, these are pay per view offerings. Offerings. Oh, so they're putting them up on pay per view. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I see what they're doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see what's happening. Yep. Yep. They're I trying to take two bites of the apple. Agreement. Is that also a pay per view though? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I, no, I, yeah, I see. It's, so this is like, um, back when there was the, oh God, this thing is, I gotta get into one of these things. Um, so this is like when women's exotic wrestling was doing a thing, right? And they mm-hmm. repackaged a bunch of those into like porn sounding shows. Also the shows kind of became porn eventually. So not the, not the, not the ones we got from the 10 pack at Walmart. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I have I have one or two. Oh, of intriguing! Those. That's where I discovered uh, Mickey James before she was Mickey James. The uh, Jr. will tell you all about that. Hmm. Oh, Jim! Jim, listen to Jim Ross commentary on Mickey James matches again. It's unnerving. Oh, no! Because he knew what she did before wrestling. Oh, that thing! No, yeah, she and she wasn't doing any of that in those videos. I have there's actually no, like know, matches. But... Like it was like, oh, this is a good match. I should I should look out for her. And then like she pop on WWE, like cool, you know. And they were all happening at like ECW Arena too. So, um, yep, yep. So I can see that. I I can see what they're saying about licensing, but. Man, it's their right to do so. But there should be at least a, and we don't agree with it. Right? Well, at the very I mean, least, if you can really, if you truly cannot do anything about this because you signed a contract, like there's got to be some sort of decency or slander. Yeah, but like I don't, I'm pretty sure their contracts didn't have anything for redistribution rights. Oh, I just uh, thank you. I don't know the abbreviation that chicks using nasty tax ran into. Okay. Oh, nope. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I saw Tina post that and Chad's like, oh, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's the problem is that legal but unethical. Um, but since we're in these times or desperate times, make people do stupid things. Um, I mean, they're gonna have to. I mean, one way or another, I'm mean, like, they're gonna have to live with the consequences of what yeah. they do. And now everybody yeah. knows, no. and like, who's gonna if you know, if they're go out of their way to do business with them now? Yeah, I mean, I yeah. Know. Well, the problem is, is now everybody's coming out of the woodwork talking about how their business practices towards women are that just supports oh. this as yeah. a, as a as an ongoing problem. So oh, yeah. now you see now that story of we signed a thing we don't have anything to do with it turns into. <clears throat> We uh, work workplace harassment essentially. No, no, no. It were it, we we maybe we had an idea and we really didn't care. Is the idea right? Versus, you know, versus. Oh man, these guys really blindsided us. No, you knew what you're. You know, like you you were already doing shit like this, right? Uh, from from let's see, a certain. I, I, I'm certain I never signed an agreement giving you rights to sell my intellectual property, nor did any woman on your blatantly disrespecting. Yeah, that's a good point, too. That turns into another thing. I mean. Oh, yeah. I, I heard there's going to be like legal action. Oh, like from out. the wrestlers? Yes. Really? That's what I, that's what I heard. I don't, know, I don't know how legit it is. So I, don't want to I mean, it can be. It, 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 it can be. A, it could be a libel. It could be a libel for imagery. Yeah. If you do that, well, I mean, it's one thing to sell a wrestling show, but to recharacterize it, you know, 
uh, as it's, something like it's that. It's basically, uh, I, oh, I forget if it's slander or libel. Well, well, not only that, but it, it, for it, going even one step back, when you perform, I, I don't know how the contracts look, but if you perform on a show, do you give away all your rights in terms of you have they the promoter can take whatever's being taped and repackage it and resend it and redo it, or it's like, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know contract. You know, that's the thing. I think as long as it doesn't mischaracterize. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, well, it's not an issue because the footage belongs to who you know whoever filmed. Right. You know whatever that deal is for the footage. You know the the promotion, the production company, whatever the case may yeah, be. It, so it's it's like it's like not to get too much into the weeds, but Vice using a lot of. WWE footage that isn't theirs, right? And and Vice and Vice can do that, uh, can do that, and and that can be argued under uh, fair use, for instance, right? I, I had a conversation with somebody who just yeah. did a documentary, um, and they talked about like they had a rights issue with somebody after he put the documentary out, and he was touching base with everybody to make sure everything was good, even though he really didn't have to because it was fair use the way that he used it. For instance, um, so, so but that's not taking the footage and repackaging it for a pay per view with slutty names, right? <laughs> it's you know, um, but uh, yeah, I guess you know all that kind of all that kind of comes together. I mean, all that comes together and around and and uh, uh, and and if this was just these pay per views were a thing, and it was just this statement for ZDW, I think I would be having a different conversation about it, right? Then and also the women kind of back up. No, these guys are kind of shitty about X, Y, and Z, right? Oh yeah. I mean that oh, yeah. that kind of supports that argument. And when it's it's coming from that many, um, there is a lengthy YouTube video from Lufisu recounting their time with CZW. Mm-hmm. A lot to unpack. And this is an interesting time. I mean, this is um, thanks in part to Lufisto. Thanks in part to Jordan Grace. Like the women aren't putting up with this shit anymore. You know, um, we saw no, nor should they. No, and 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 fuck, they deserve to come. Now we, of course, the one girl leaves the show as we talk about the the being shitty to girls subject. (laughs) Let let the middle-aged white men talk about how women should be treated. Yes. Yeah. Listen. (laughs) Listen. We know what's best, Sork. Let us talk about it. (laughs) I I was I was when I said we should talk about lady stuff as soon as Sutter's left. Well, I don't know. So this was going to be the bonus, but we talk having such a deep conversation. This is the show now. Uh, so because <laughs> it's actually a really good conversation we're having well, about this. Well, but, I, but I mean, like I said, in terms of the five, besides the fact they're 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 it seemed now of course, and this is just us reading people's reactions. It seemed like they're a bunch of bastards. But in terms of the rights, I know that let's say my main work. Um, I talked to someone who wrote a book for us and mm-hmm. they wanted to convert that paper book into a PDF and sell it that way. So we're, we're not even talking repackaging. We're just saying converting, okay, converting, converting the physical book, boom, boom, boom to PDF. He's like, yeah, I'm going to have to redo my contract because now I want more money because you're going to sell it as a PDF. And yes. all right, the way, the way my contract was set up, it only candled paper it didn't cover electronic uh, transmission this is uh, a very important lesson i learned early in trademark was i was helping a dentist i think we were angle <laughs> bring her back around was, to Britt baker. Was Britt baker it wasn't about Britt baker by the <laughs> way this is even before she was i think even knew she wanted to wrestle uh so uh, did she know she wanted to be a dentist yet maybe by then i will hopefully by then it's a long road <laughs> Uh, but no, it was, or was, it was she just a big fan of Isaac Ganko and like, why not both? Man. <laughs> uh, oh jeez. But no, it was a, it, you know, <laughs> when you think about trademarks, like there was a, uh, they had the trademark done for them and it was done on like, they, they put it on a plaque and put it on the wall or something. And that graphic designer came back and said, you owe me money for that. And they're like, what do you mean? And they're like, you were only, you were only, you know, contracted with what you, I made for you to do this, this, and this, which was like do this with a logo, put it on a sign out front, whatever. They went and put it on other stuff, Willy and Lily, because they're you know they had you make the logo. They think it belongs to them. It, this is a whole trademark copyright issues thing. Look at what's happening with Reaper, Matt Connard, and and Sean Spears. Look what's happening with the revival and the revolt, R- revolt, revival, mm-hmm. revolt. Okay, revolt. the other tag yeah. team in the Indies. So I mean, this is a. 
you know, between having your, so this is, this is multiple conversations. This is copyright. This is, uh, and, and, and again, I agree. I don't know what the actual term is, but whatever, this is damaging to your image for the yep. ladies that are on, uh, these, uh, pay-per-views that are being named and, 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 uh, uh, promoted in these ways. Right. Um, that's a problem. That's a problem. When you go to WWE, there's, uh, from my understanding, there's something in the contract that's like a a um, I have not done basically I, I have not done anything shitty contract clause, uh, you know that you haven't done news, you haven't done this, you haven't done anything, you know that's going to look bad on the company when it gets found out like years later from your past, uh, uh, that kind of thing, the kind of due diligence thing. So now, like, say, I don't know, looking at a name over here, I mean, some of these, like half half these girls are signed to places and of significance, right? Um, let's say. Yeah, Athena is is uh, in WWE now. Cherry bombs over in mm-hmm. AEW. Sassy Stephanie. I I don't think she's been signed to a major company. Uh, well over time for her to be. Uh, I don't know if she's quite so active. Did a lot of stuff here with RWA with us. But uh, you know, she goes to WWE and now this surfaces. Like this, this is going to be an explanation on that, and that's nothing. Uh, that's her fault, right? It was a, it was yeah. an indie booking. Yeah. And they did I mean, these kinds it, of things. It's slanderous, essentially. Like, yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty well, sure. like, I, I wish there I'm was a wrestler. I'm going to double check my notes, but like when it comes to libel and slander and that kind of stuff, like the, the, legal, the, the legal it's line really is intent. Intent, yes. So, okay. yeah. So are you, I, it, it, are you doing, are you damaging someone's reputation accidentally or do you, do you deliberately do this to damage their reputation? Yeah, and that gets yeah. into a really foggy area because, I, you know, if they're taking this and they're marketing it in this very specific way, then are they knowingly, you know, we, we are knowingly damaging their reputation so that we can make a profit off of this. Right. I just wish we had some wrestling friends that happen to be lawyers that happen to watch the show. <laughs> That could help us out as we're tripping over ourselves. Yeah. If only all, there was a way. In all Sorg. of these, in all of these legal terms, I mean, Cause, what? Cause Sorg, I'll be honest with you. The extent that I know is the one line from J. Jonah Jameson in Spider Man, where he says, "Slander is spoken; in print, it's libel." That's the only thing I know. <laughs> yeah, that's the standard. That's but the no, standard. That, that 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 is the difference between the two. I, I was just looking it up to refresh <laughs> myself on which which. But yeah, that's. It, it's and, still and JJ you know, came up, but that that's the big deal. Is you know, <laughs> it, what is the concern? Like, is it intent too? Yeah, yeah. Oh well, we'll figure it out, I guess. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, maybe someday some legal knowledge person will come along and clear this up. Anyways, uh, let's, let's just get the gavel, David Law. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Overdue. <laughs> Over deal. Listen, listen. We'll get we'll get the gavel back on. You know what? We're gonna do this. We're I think we're gonna on the this. gavel signal. We're gonna you're gonna throw the gavel signal and be like 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 gavel. We need to have you on. And every trademark and libel and every other word we're using wrong question we have around professional wrestling, we want to ask you. And we know this is not legal re- advice, like technical legal advice. It's more an educational thing because I don't want to get you in trouble with the bar or anything like that. Uh, so, so we're gonna Why put would that Shamus out there. Cesaro take offense? We're gonna... <laughs> Thank Boom. you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. So that is gonna happen. We're uh, we're putting it out. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna we don't tweet set it. the bar. We we're failed gonna, the bar. We're gonna tweet it. We're gonna... Do we have a big question, by the way? This feels question? like a very big question. Okay. <laughs> this feels like several small questions. <laughs> like this feels like a big question and it's so big that I I'm I'm being crushed under the size of this question. It's oh, overwhelming. Boy. Um yeah, but you're right. We should just bring the gavel in. We'll just queue up every single legal adjacent wrestling story of the last you know Sorry, year or so, we... and we'll just fire it at him. Can, or can we call David Otunga? Let's get them both. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Plaintiff and defendant. Wrestling le- wrestling lawyers roundtable. <laughs> there you go. And, and um, Hornswoggle. Um, let's see. Let's see. At Gavel we'll Wallace. Everyone. Uh, I'm tweeting this. Uh, we need to invite you back to clear up every legal question we just came up with around wrestling tonight. <laughs> if you have a Tuesday off and would be so kind. Should I also put, also, do you know David Otanga? 
Well, no, you don't want to offend him. I mean, no, I you mean just, that. I think it's you just, just like, send the same tweet to him and the same tweet to David. I just have this imagination that every wrestling lawyer like gathers together like a legal cauliflower club. Sork, they don't all know each other. <laughs> That's it's a lie. Not... They all meet. In a, they all meet in a uh, luxurious um, athletic club somewhere downtown, and they all just all hang <laughs> yes, out. And yes. smoke it's not like everyone with. in Parts Unknown knows each other. All right, <laughs> <laughs> Parts Unknown is a big place. We grew up in different parts of Parts Unknown. So, mm. all right. No, I, I have a big question. I actually oh, have good. a big question. Oh, good. We're no, gonna do a show. Sorg, it's May nineteenth. <gasps> It's May 19th. Hold on. Take, I, I got to go do the thing. Go do your thing. May 19th, everyone. The mm. day that Cain feared. Oh. Why did he fear it? Why did he fear it? I think because his movie was coming out. Why would he fear that? I'm not sure. I'm sure he made a lot of money and the movie was actually pretty good. The sequel was even better. But... Here is my Jesus Sorg. Where did you get that edible underwear from? <laughs> it's gotta be Kane. It's gotta be Kane That's All right. gotta be. That's gotta be. It's gotta be Sorg. <laughs> the glasses fit okay. nicely underneath them, actually. Okay. So yeah. here go. is my question mm -hmm. for Kane Day. What movie superhero or hero, what movie hero would you have take on Jacob Goodnight? Oh, oh. Mm. yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, Luke Cage. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Cage. Right, he hasn't been in a movie, though, Sorg. I counts. Marvel Universe. He's still. No, he's technically in the cinematic Sorg, universe. Sorg, I want you to give another answer because that was really good. I want another one. You want another <laughs> one? I don't know if the, I don't know if the next mine, one's gonna... Mine is gonna be Boone the Bounty Hunter. Drax. Please do. What, what are what's Boone's superpowers? I didn't say those hero. abs. He, he's just a hero. Hero. Yeah. Okay. 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 Every okay. protagonist is the hero of their own story, Matt. <laughs> That that is proven true here every Tuesday night. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. Oh, Tina in the chat room says <clears throat> uh, Helen Ripley. Helen Ripley? I mean Ellen Ripley. I think. What? I think she meant Ellen Ripley from Alien. Simply so Ripley. Ripley. Is, is that her yeah. first name? Ripley, Ripley will from, work. Yeah. Ripley from Alien. I don't think yeah. I knew her first name. It's been a while. I'm pretty sure it's Ellen Ripley. Is it right? Ellen? Okay. Uh, now, I, might, I might be mistaken. I'm going to look it up right now. <laughs> Man, Mike, as someone who has never seen Kane's movie, uh, would you help me understand like <laughs> what's Jacob Goodnight's skill oh. set so I can come up with a good... Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, Matt, where can I start? Um, He has a giant uh hook on a chain. All right. That he uses to slaughter teenagers. Okay. Um, He's been shot before. Mm -hmm. And totally fine. Okay. Uh, he's been dropped down an elevator shaft. Totally cool. So good. Uh, he choke slammed one into the roof of an elevator, mm -hmm. which was really a foreshadowing for Money in the Bank. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is known to masturbate. <laughs> wow. Okay. Now, well, now I'm trying You're to not remember. Saying that's a superpower. I'm just saying it's a skill. If that's my well, super, my... The, damn it! I was that was no. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Let's say, man, uh, now, what was also one of the things I'm trying to remember because I think I saw the movie once and uh -huh. it's been a while. Was it he pulled the eyes out? Oh, yes, he pulled. Yeah, he uh, he Hence totally see did. Um, no evil. Yeah, yeah, he uh, he pulled yeah. the eyes out of his victims. Yeah, nice. I, for I forgot he did that too. Uh, very, very uh, Mortal Kombat, by the way, Matt, Matt, mm. just get the kids double feature. <laughs> 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 wait, you know what? It, it, no, no, wait, knowing that he pulls he pulls the eyeballs out, right? Yes. Y y you gotta figure Daredevil. Ooh. Ooh. So are you saying Ben Affleck's Daredevil? Because I support you a thousand yes. times. Yes. I'll, I'll go with the I'll go with the uh, uh, yes. Okay. All right. Ben Affleck's Daredevil versus Jacob Goodnight. Actually, you know. That would be a really good. That would be a really intriguing fight. 
That'd be very interesting. I damn it, now I actually want to see that. I really do want to see that. Because I'm a supporter of the Ben Affleck Daredevil movie, and damn it, now I want to see Ben Affleck fight Kane. <laughs> All, of this. All of this. Yes. All of this. Um, you know what? Uh, Tina's I... also saying Black Widow or Alexa Woods from Alien vs. Predator. Mm-hmm. Um, Alex She's is saying theme. Batman or Joker or Jason Voorhees. Um, okay. All of them work. Um, I don't know which Joker you mean because I don't think Jared Leto would stand a chance. Uh, True. <laughs> neither, neither would Joaquin Phoenix, if I'm perfectly honest. No, no, no. I don't no, think so. He, Maybe, he's I think just he, a guy he, with a disability. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's be really real about it. He's just a guy with a bad disability and not much social skills. <laughs> so he's a wrestling fan. <laughs> we are not what? nice to people. Good night, everybody. Tonight. All right. Okay. Do I keep? Do I gotta keep wearing this mask? Am I done? <laughs> We're done. You did that to yourself. Okay. I li- I literally like after the show last week realized oh it's May nineteenth next week and like tossed this over to the other end of the studio so it would be an arm's width reach when this inevitably came up <laughs> okay Al- alex is clarifying either mark hamill or heath ledger um yeah i i would personally rather see nicholson go against jacob goodnight that <laughs> that'd be great like you wouldn't hit a guy with glasses would you and he just pulls out the eyes <laughs> <laughs> where did he get those wonderful toys <laughs> <laughs> yes oh boy yeah he says after the masturbating scene Mm, yeah, uh, mm. man. But yeah, they're, wow. they're, but Matt, seriously, if 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 you're in the mood for a horror movie, they're good flicks. Mm-hmm. They are good flicks. Like they're very watchable, very enjoyable horror movies. The they second one is even better. They see the second one. By, it's done by the Saska sisters. Yeah. Okay. I definitely. They saw that. are fans. I definitely saw that because I remember tweeting the, with the Saska S- 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 Saska sisters. Saska. Yeah. I Saska sisters. Saska. <laughs> That's yeah, what I said. Jessica Bealy, I got it. I got it, Sork. You say Jessica no, Bealy? Because I, I live tweeted watching Cena Weevil too. Yes, yes. On the Mayhem Show account. They were good <laughs> Twitter friends friend. for a while, actually. Yeah. So That was a while back. Yeah. That was a but, high point. Oh, yeah. A, a, a Boone the Bounty Hunter versus Jacob Goodnight. I want to see that crossover. Mm-hmm. I want to see that crossover. Oh, that's good. That's good. So, that was a big question. Let us know on the Twitters. Who would you like to see? The see no evil Jacob, Jacob Knight, Jacob Goodnight, Goodnight, Goodnight. Thank you. Uh, you're like our WWE films encyclopedia. I try to be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he watches all the Marines, so you don't have to. Uh, uh, I've actually, I've actually never seen a Marine with the Miz. <gasps> you should. You, you I should. Know. Expect like, uh, dude. When you get to the one with Bo Dallas and, and all those guys, like it is, it is fun. It is it's good. delightful. It does. I don't like it. Looks delightful. They, they, they've just never been easily accessible for me on any other. Uh, no, and, no, and I already I bought too many. Of them. I still don't understand why WWE films aren't on the network yet. That boggles my mind. I think it's a rights issue with the movie with like Lionsgate or something. Stuff. Yeah, like how is it not like? Uh, hopefully, with WWE with this Netflix deal, that means the films are coming. Like like the back catalog of films, maybe. I, oh my god! If they put all the Marines on Netflix, I will do, do it. a weekend bid. Let's do it, man. <laughs> that's that's not it. even a joke. Make it happen. <laughs> Come on, give me the see no evils. Are those over on mm-hmm. Shutter at least? Like something. Come on, throw me a. See no evil. I think was on there at some point. Yeah, I mean, I have. I mean, mm-hmm. they, they're weird with the rights because I, I I have the uh, the the Big Show um, um, Dean Cain movie on. I don't even know what service because it's Lionsgate. Was that, was that so. Knucklehead? No, 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 no. That was the one when they were breaking out of jail or something. Oh, wow. Okay. You remember that? That's the one. Yeah. I got to add. Vaguely. That's, that's I where I had my super Comic Con moment where I asked Dean Kane what Big Show was like. <laughs> that was my. I'm just like I, I don't have I like a good way. You asked Superman what Big Show was like. Yes, I did. It was a. It was a high point for me. Holy crap. <laughs> oh boy. It's a moment. It was a moment. Um, I can't look at my notes because of this mask. I think. <laughs> I just... 
it, it, it's your show. You can take it off. You know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're not, I think, we're not holding I think we have a lesson. I think we have a lesson. We have a we have a match that we watched. We had, we had an assignment. Uh, from we Clash, had no work, Clash of the Champions uh-huh. 23. It was the Hollywood Blondes against the uh, uh, Arn Anderson and Ric Flair. I believe this was September of 93, if I have my date right. I don't know. I can't read anything. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it was a two out of three falls match for the Tag Team Championships. I believe at this point, uh, Ric Flair was just back from his excursion in WWF. Yes. Excursion. Yes. <laughs> it sounded like he was a young yeah. boy. Yes. It, it, it's where he learned how to be a real world champion. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. uh, God, I hope this is still recording. I can't see anything. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, I, this is a problem. How do you do it? How do you no, wrestle just in this take thing? Take off the damn mask. No, just I can't. Take off the mask. Now. You're making me nervous. I feel like yeah. I'm take the mask off. It's going to get well, worse. No, I mean, at least it's not covering your um your nose or your face. If we know you're not going to pass <laughs> out, <Breathe. laughs> yeah. God. At least we know it's exactly the opposite kind of Can mask. Wear- Pretty much. Yeah. Mask. Yeah. Don't worry. Again, it's a mask. mask. Can I wear the like if I wear this mask with my uh COVID mask? Like, is that acceptable? Like, especially like oh, I yeah. want to go in across the street in a lucha mask and the mask and just see if anybody cares i don't know if i trust you to cross the street wearing that no no, i'm not no peripheral vision do not cross the street in the mask it doesn't look like you have straight on vision barely (laughs) but it's probably because i have glasses on under this We had a homework assignment, <laughs> guys. What did you think of this match, Potter? Did you, I know you got? I think you got the assignment late, perhaps. I did, but no, I was able to you see able it, to? and Good. I was able to not not just the clip, but I saw the whole match. Okay. So I did watch the whole match. Okay. And now I'll say this: that I did not, because growing up in Pittsburgh without cable, I was really limited to when I was growing up in the eighties and early nineties to WWF only. So I had no idea about WCW Jim Crockett. I I knew nothing. And looking back with modern eyes at that match Mm -hmm. and the buildup, it's a slow match. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a good match, Mm -hmm. but the fact that, well, I, I wrote a couple quick notes. Um, when was Flair never not a legend? I, you know what? I, 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 think, <laughs> I, yeah. I think he became a, a legend as soon as he emerged from a plane wreck. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, 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 he's been pretty much been like treated as a legend for what, 45 years or so now? Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, he was 45 during the time of that match. So was he seriously? Yeah. He was oh, forty three. No, he was forty three. Yeah. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah because I, I because they did the. Um, the pr- I, I looked at what Matt did about the um, the flair for the old, the flair for the old, and I wanted to look up. Okay, how old was Ric Flair when that? He's forty three. Like, wow. Okay, Jesus. so him and current AJ. Wow. Okay. Uh, pretty close to the same age. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 And Jeez. the fact that who thought? Oh yeah, you, you know, you see this guy who's old. Yeah. He, he he'll still wrestle for another twenty years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's the yeah, he, well, actually, well, well, he actually he actually out he out, longer than that he outlinks everybody else in that match. Uh, one for a tragic yeah, reason, oh, but oh. well, I mean, yeah, wrestling, you're, you're, wrestling yeah, career. You're right. It's unfortunate the reason why he outlasts <laughs> Brian Pillman, yeah. but yeah, he outlasts. I'm just talking Arn, math. Everyone else, yeah. Arn Anderson and only has about is, five. Is, Arn Anderson yeah. only has about five more years left in him. Uh, well, I mean, that's really so, what caused Austin to retire too. He, he had yeah, to retire because of injury too. Yeah, yeah. Ric Flair outlasted Ric all those Arn. guys. Like some of those guys weren't even in their prime yet, and he yeah. still lasted longer than them. Uh, you know, physically. I mean, you know, unfortunate in every case, unfortunate things happen. Arn had an injury, right? Like mm-hmm. uh, uh, Stone Cold with the neck, uh, and 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 Brian Pillman, you know what happened there. Yeah. So I feel really weird talking about that important topic with this mask on. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it, but but no, it's, but it's true. But it's true. So I, mm-hmm. I, I but for uh, uh, reference, I guess for this. So right. Well, the other thing is that the first fall, like I say, the only real fall of the match mm-hmm. was off of a shoulder block half cross body Mm -hmm. where if someone pinned someone like that in the last five years the crowd would go nuts by saying 
what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, again, I know the guys in the match, they were ground and pound. There was, you know, Brian Pillman high flying, but he didn't do any high effort. And I don't know timeline of his bad ankle injury to this match in terms of, you know, but I know high flying in early 90s is different from what we consider high flying now. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, so it's like, you, I watched it and I was like, okay, good match. And, you know, psychology wise and everything else. But it's like, if that played today without the guys being known, you know, if you show it to someone now, today, you're going, oh, yeah, it's Austin. Yeah, it's, you know, these are all led. If it's like, here's four random guys putting on the same match today. Mm-hmm. It, I don't. I don't think it would hold up for a lot of the newer fans. No, but again, this is uh, this is Southern wrestling, you know. Right. I mean, so so I did appreciate because oh, yeah. thank you for confirming that because I remember watching that and I'm just like, oh, maybe I missed that second fall when we got to the end. Uh, yeah, and, yeah and the second to, fall to, was the uh, interference run in. Yeah. Uh, so so to explain, so the first fall went to Arn and Flair, and they're the challengers. Mm-hmm. And then we had the rest of the match, and then there was a Barry Windham run-in, which led to a DQ, which was the second and final fall. So the Horsemen won by two falls, but with a disqualification, therefore no title change. Um, I appreciated that that it wasn't the formulaic two out of three falls, where... Like, I actually chuckle when Tony's like, if we go to three falls, I'm like, oh, come on, you're coming to three falls. And we didn't. <laughs> they threw me. They actually threw me. They actually gave me something different. So credit to them for that. Mike? Yeah. Uh, this just seems very WCW to me. But it because it was. It was, <laughs> yeah, I know, it was like, Clash of the Champions no, at 6.05 on, not- on, on TBS. Is it the most WCW you can get? Yeah, but all right. But it, it was WCW in the worst kind of ways for me. Okay. It it was a lot of really good action. Mm-hmm. A hot ass crowd because they're essentially in Flair Country. Norfolk's mm-hmm. pretty close to North to North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, you have Flair do, being awesome at AJ Styles' age. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that that's, that blows my hair back. By the way, I looked up the o- the only person the, there are only two people on the entire card that has lasted longer than Flair and are still currently wrestling today. Scorpio and Dustin Rhodes. Oh wow, that's it. That's it. Wow, <laughs> that's the list. <laughs> that's but the we, list. But, but we do have kids of those wrestlers currently wrestling today. True. True. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but um. But, uh, like, I, it's just, yes, credit where credit's due for only having it be two falls. Mm. But to end it on a DQ, a two out of three falls match, like, I don't need, like, the logistics of that don't even make sense. The logistics of that, don't, because, like, they did get one fall legitimately. So, I mean, if you're saying to me that, like, let's say the first fall is a DQ, but the second fall is a pin, then the titles change hands? No. That <laughs> that doesn't track at all. Yeah. I, I need a referee. I need a referee in here. Listen, I wish we had a referee that listens to the show. <laughs> Potter, no, like, George. Or, or maybe even a booker who listens to the show. Maybe a booker. <laughs> Joe, and, like, Marcus. And it doesn't even, like... It makes the Hollywood Blondes look like crap. Mm. Oh, they, well, I mean, it's not the first time they're going to do that it's in, the, the first in their time, history. But, but, but like, they were the ones driving the feud from what it looked like from the flair for the old stuff. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. like, and I get they're your current, well, but it just it looked like they booked themselves into a corner because well, they obviously didn't want Ric Flair to be a tag team champion. I, I think this is a, you know, I think it's just like you said. I, I obviously they were setting up for a Flair Barry thing, uh, Barry Windham thing. Uh, so like it was like kind of a token like thing to get ratings on TBS kind of thing. Uh, mm-hmm. You know they were playing by a weird playbook m- long before 
We got yeah. uh, like, we got hey, we got hey, the if you nitro. Want to do that, that's fine, but don't have it main event your show. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like, but I, I whoa, whoa, yeah, you're whoa. right. I think what you're driving is like they needed a main event for their TV special that was going wherever it was fitting in their calendar between their pay per views and whatnot, and they needed to put out a match that was going to get ratings. And then mm-hmm. once they got it, promoted that match, they needed to just get out of it somehow. So yeah. you've got yeah. you know these four guys out there just just wasting time basically at the end of this thing. I mean, I, and I can respect like all four guys. I think all four of them are awesome, but like in the context of like the match they put on, I'm just like, this is just nothing. They're just like, you know, just chopping and punching around and, you know, flares manhandling Austin and manhandling Pillman and just chop, 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 chop. And, And, you know, Brian, Brian, didn't really wow. leave the ground much. Well, no, no, that, well. That, that's why I was wondering about <laughs> timeline between his injury, his ankle injury, yeah. and this match. Because I honestly, I'm not familiar with it. But, mm-hmm. but there, the one thing, oh, the other thing I thought. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Matt. Oh, it's good. Just gonna say, I mean, I'm like, for me, like just watching Pillman, like I wasn't struck by the fact that he wasn't like flying around. I was just like, he's being a chicken. Peel, you know, it looks like Pillman's injury happened right after this because at Clash of Champions 24, which took place two months after, um, Arn Anderson and Paul Roma beat uh Steve Austin and Steven Regal. I know, oh, okay, yeah, because they had to do a substitute, right? Yeah, oh. uh, it was, I'm, I'm um, seeing a label as 1996 on my on my records, on my on my right. Googles. So then it's a it's a different injury, but Pillman okay. was yeah. definitely injured because okay. Regal yeah. were both. Sounds right. Uh, I, I will say, like, I, I think one of my favorite parts of this match was just watching. Uh, was Nick Patrick the referee? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was like just uh, the, the way man. he just like he's so good at just believably letting himself just like manipulated and lured yeah. every, mm-hmm. to every corner of the ring. You know, they're doing all these. You know, the blondes are doing all these bits where they're choking one guy with their towel or whatnot, and like. Like Patrick never comes off as like this complete and total buffoon. I mean, you're you're still kind of like, all right, yeah, come on, just like turn around and just let's go about it. <laughs> but he's, I mean, Nick Nick Patrick is really good in that in that mm. era. He's really yeah. good. I don't. I, I'm not going to try to judge him too far across. The, he's been referring for a long time. He's really good. So he knows what he's doing. The scope is awesome. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's awesome. The okay, roof. So, um, it's it's so cool. Um, I have a story about the Norfolk scope. Okay. Okay. All right, so um, my parents, when they were courting, um, my dad was in the Navy, and they he was stationed in Annapolis, Maryland all the time. So when they would have wrestling shows, NWA shows, my dad occasionally went to them. He took my mom to one at the Norfolk Scope. No way. <laughs> and, and my mom got an autograph from Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Yes. Yes, who she who she said flirted with her as well. I'm like, so my dad could have been Ricky the Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> trying to tell me the baby face of all baby faces was hitting on your mother? I don't believe it. Um, I believe it. That's <laughs> uh, funny. He's such a um, nice, he's such a nice guy, even to especially to the ladies. Uh, <laughs> exactly, exactly sword. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> she didn't even know who he was. Yeah. But I uh, like uh. I start I started talking about she like described him and I'm like, was it Ricky Steamboat? She's like, that's it. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fuck, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, only like one of the biggest Hall of Famers of all time, Ricky mm-hmm. the fucking yeah. Dragon Steamboat. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. And then I showed her a match. Like, I think I showed her the one uh, with him and Jericho. Oh wow! And she's like, "Oh, oh. he still looks good." Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> You're like, "Mom!" Oh, no. All right. <laughs> the oh, um. Geez. Oh, one one yeah, other thing I. Go ahead. No oh, thanks. No, I was say one other thing I noticed was Austin making fun of Arn Anderson and having a pot belly. Yes. He's like, oh yeah, beer belly, huh? Yeah, look There's at you some... having a beer belly. Like, okay, yeah, Austin making some under someone with the beer belly, huh? Listen, listen, <laughs> I still wish I had the physique that Arn Anderson had at that age, at that moment. So, well, 
<laughs> well, that's the thing. Like I said, Ruth only got into wrestling heavy since we did, since we, you know, got married. So mm. we're talking early 2000s. And I showed her a thing of Arn Anderson back when he was part of the Brain Busters. And it's like, okay, see the guy right now in, in, in AEW. Look at him back then. <laughs> it isn't a matter he looks good now. He always looked old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he yeah. always looked like he just hasn't changed. He, he's like, he turned 18, looked he's old, and stayed there for the next 40 years. He's the Paul Rudd of <laughs> professional wrestling. <laughs> mm-hmm. um yeah um just in, in general um this match uh was a waste of my time for the most part <laughs> um i expected a lot more from four legends um uh, but it did send me down the rabbit hole that led back to a flare for the old and some of the other flare for the gold segments those things are awesome sorg the, a flair for the gold does not get enough credit as a great um, interview segment in pro wrestling history. That thing's amazing. It's got like they spare no expense on that thing. It's so I, cool. I think it because because it got confused with a lot of like because there was even a pay per view called a flair for the gold. So that's probably why uh, it gets. Well, though that was the get... subtitle. That was a subline of one of the early Starcades. Yeah, mm. but but it's right? like it's like if you call it's like if someone called their segment like. Um, Mega Powers Saint Explode, Val- Saint, Val- Saint Valentine's Day Massacre, <laughs> or something. You know what I mean? Right. Or, or the climax within. <laughs> like, like that was that was the subtitle. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, but, um, also a couple couple little things I noticed about the match. Um, one, I kind of miss ring announcers announcing who the referee is. Mm-hmm. I kind of miss that. That's that's kind of a cool little feature. Um, also, WCW did not have tag ropes. I don't know if I've ever noticed this. Hmm. They did not have tag ropes, and I found it fascinating. Because, <laughs> no, because, like, what's to stop Pillman from running down to the other end of the ring to get a tag? Mm-hmm. That's what the tag rope is there for. You're only mm-hmm. allowed to go as, as far as the yeah. tag rope. Mm-hmm. Thirdly, I still, to this day, will never understand why throwing someone over the top rope is a disqualification. They didn't do it because Nick Patrick is incompetent and didn't mm-hmm. see it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, but he's a very good referee. <laughs> sure. Sure. Spoiler alert. Matt Carlin's is in the NWO. <laughs> hey, it took them months to, to smoke him out, all right? He's a very good referee. Yeah, it took them years to actually snuff out what WWE did in uh, three months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, WWE's like, oh, these guys are coming in. Here. Like, take her. Rock, Austin, go get them. Just take him out right now. Just nip this thing in the butt. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Um, so... But, you know, like, I, ne- I never got that. The the throw over the top rope, like, that's a disqualification, Shavani. Like, ugh. it's a and weird, God. it's a you weird know, I, Georgia. Thing it's a Georgia thing. Matt, you're from, you've been in Georgia for an extended period of time. <laughs> I was in Savannah. It's like a little <laughs> safe zone inside of Georgia. It's not real Georgia. <laughs> um, you know, it's, um, it's your own, it's, it's your own a green lot zone. better than I thought mm-hmm. he was going to be on, on commentary. Like the, the stories you always hear about Jesse is that when he goes to WCW, he goes into like, phone and in mode and he sucks from there on out he's fine he's he's really good i, mm-hmm. I think he liked working with shivani mm-hmm. yeah well i mean shivani mean, yeah, was, nice was, too. was one of his uh partners in wwe too oh but okay. like but um i still think it's great that it doesn't matter what year it is someone is going to accuse shivani of being drunk <laughs> doesn't matter doesn't matter if it's aew in 2020 WCW in 1993, and it was very interesting to hear what the cheap wines were back then. So, <laughs> so good on you, Jesse it a, Ventura. It was for... a nice time capsule for you. So, it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we I think we all learned a lot from this week from our friend from our professor Jacob Edwin. We have another assignment ahead of us. <laughs> what you... it's gonna be? Bring it on. I, seriously, I hope we get to give him a fucking assignment. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be good. 
Uh, I'm still waiting for him to grade your reports from last week. So mm-hmm. we'll, uh, you know, homeschooling uh, and such. Things are weird. <laughs> Dukers, you know, they yeah. uh, you know, he may just give us all a passing grade because we're stuck at home. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, wait, this thing isn't pass fail. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the I don't know what the curve is. We are not uh-huh. this. So, <laughs> anyways, somebody we, better set the curve. Don't set the curve too high. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yes. No, flatten the curve. That's what we're all about. Flatten we're the all curve. here to flatten okay. the curve. Yeah. <laughs> so we have another lesson from Jacob Edwin. Hello again, Wrestling Mayhem Show. My name is Professor Jacob Edwin. You can follow me on all social media platforms. That is Jacob with a K and Edwin with two N's. This week's assignment is going to go back to 1988 at the Great American Bash. Some people consider this pay-per-view one of the best pay-per-views of all time. This tag team match is unique. It is going to feature the Midnight Express versus the Fantastics. And you're going to see the Midnight Express's manager, uh, a man who cannot seem to stay out of trending on Twitter, Jim Cornette. He is going to be put in a straitjacket and strung up in a cage above the ring. Some of you probably think he should have stayed there. Uh, This is to prevent him from interfering in the match. I'll let you watch and find out if he interferes in the match or not. Um, if you have the time, go ahead and watch this whole pay-per-view. I'm going to re-watch it very soon just to stay ahead of the game. But just because I do and I'm an overachiever, that does not mean you have to be as well. But it sure would help. Thanks again, and I'll sh- see you next week for next week's assignment. Thank you. There you go. That is your assignment. See, I'm starting to catch on to his game, Sorg. Here's okay. what he does. Okay. He, he always prefaces the match. He goes... Because he did this last week, too, when he was teeing up this dud that we all had to watch. <laughs> and uh, he's like, this tag team match is features four of the legendary performers of all time. He's, like, building it up for you. And he's like, if you don't like this match, there's something wrong with you. That's what he's saying. So when he prefaces this, some people consider this one of the greatest pay-per-views of all time. You know what you know what he's really saying, Sorg? If you don't like this match, there's something wrong with you. That's what he's saying right there. Oh, so we're going to watch this match and we'll see if there's something wrong. Guys, with guys, um do you want to <laughs> hear what the rest of this card is? Yes, I want to hear more about the greatest Before. pay-per-view. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right. I'm not going to say the matches in order because I feel like they should be placed in different order on the card. Okay. Um uh, well, it, it, Marcus Mann has taught us that the order of the card is very important. So, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I know. And, uh, trust me, I'm going to tell you why I think this card is out of order. Okay. Um, the first match on the card is Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard, who are the NWA tag champs, against Nico- Nikita Koloff and Sting. Nice. Okay. Then we have the match we were assigned, which I will mm-hmm. not. I will not uh, give the result, obviously. Thanks. Uh, then we have Barry Windham, the uh, NWA US Heavyweight Champ. Against Dusty Rhodes. And uh, for the NWA title, it's Ric Flair versus Lex Luger. Mm -hmm. Now, the match that's not the main event and probably should be the main event, just for reasons. uh, The Road Warriors, Jimmy Garvin, Ron Garvin, and Steve Williams uh, against Al Perez, Ivan Koloff, Kevin Sullivan, Mike Rotunda, and the Russian Assassin. In a Tower of Doom match. Oh, oh my. <laughs> they had those back then? A Tower of Doom match. What was yes. a Tower of Doom match? That's, uh, the Tower of Doom is the three-story cage. Wow. Oh, no. From, from Ready to Rumble. No, it's not. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Uh, from Wikipedia. <clears throat> Also called the Tower of Doom. The Doomsday Cage is a three-story cage, the middle one split into two rooms, all of which house wrestlers. The object of the match is for a team of wrestlers to fight their way from the top cage to the bottom, where pinfalls and submission come into play. In the later days of WCW, it was referred to as a triple-decker cage, a reference to the match type being used in the finale of the film, Ready to Rumble. So, I'm in shock. So, 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 so you're right. You're partially right, it, but it's it's not the same. It, different, different rules. There's a different version. There's there's different versions of this cage. I'm trying to find the picture that I just saw 
on this YouTube video because somebody's reviewing it here. I just want the picture. Oh, damn, where is it? I just saw a great picture of this thing. Um, there is a version of this, and I think it might have been also a Tower of Doom. And here, the picture's going to come up uh, for you guys on video on the feed. Um, it's got the three layers, but, like, the, the rooms are... I don't think the cage, like, tears is the difference in this one, <laughs> right? And then was, there was a version of this where Hogan and Macho Man... Uh, and I believe it was a version of this cage had to fight through the rooms. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa. Sword, that sword, is definitely there, something sword, else. Sword, That's tears, the, the, sword, the, the doomsday tears. cage where where the where the Hulk Hogan and the Macho Man fought through like eighty other guys. Um, that was like not even like on the ring. Like I, they had like a separate ring. It was like hidden yeah, in the corner, geez, you geez. know. Yeah, and yeah. they like stacked up three, and they were all like equal size. Anyway, um, I've said we've said too much about that match already, but this is definitely something I, I, like, entirely he, right. He didn't even give us the most interesting match on the card. <laughs> is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. I, I feel like we're all watching the cage match for extra credit, correct? I, I'm, I'm absolutely going to watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is because not... honestly, fuck Jim Cornette. <laughs> no, 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 all around. Seriously. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it could Especially. be the greatest pay per view of all time. Why would I stop with one match, Sorg? I have to watch the whole uh, thing. So. Tina has some. <clears throat> Tina has some comments on this. She says she remembers this one. Kevin Sullivan had an obsession with Precious. Jimmy Garvin's mm -hmm. valet was uh, the storyline for the Tower of Doom match in particular. Yes. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, and the, uh, Kevin yeah. Sullivan, weird guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, weird fucking guy. If you want to know how weird Kevin Sullivan is, uh, do yourself a little favor. <laughs> Go to the WWE Network. Type in Varsity Club. You won't thank me later. <laughs> okay. Varsity Club. Oh, jeez. Uh, I I remember back in the day, I had to log a segment where Kevin Sullivan had a ball gag in his mouth. Oh. Yep. Very difficult to cut promos with a ball gag in your mouth. Side note, just because I'm flipping through looking for that stuff, it, it seems strange to me to have like the last ride post mortem, which is their after talk show for the last the Undertaker thing, but it's just like a picture <laughs> of uh, his wife. Yeah, they probably shouldn't call it post mortem. Yeah, that seems. <laughs> yeah, it seems, seems ill timed. It seems off. Seems yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. Um, anyways. Oh, there's a smile on young Shane Douglas. Uh, <laughs> and also, fire, by the way, face. if you want to live through, like they're putting right on the top in your house shows. Who's watching? Somebody's watching through. Is it one of you guys watching through in your house shows? Uh, I thought that was Chachi. Was it, it was Chachi doing that? Really? Wow. Oh, <laughs> or maybe it was Riz. Wow. July I forget. 23rd, I know it's someone that's been on the show before. God, this seems so. These seem so random. Sharpshooter versus Powerbomb. Oh man, final four. <laughs> oh jeez, Revenge of the Taker, Mind mm -hmm. Games. I watched the Mind Games match too, not too long ago. First Unforgiven, Judgment the, uh, Day, the, Breakdown. The in your house where they do um, HPK and uh, Diesel right after WrestleMania. Oh yeah, oh, yeah where they use Is, uh, where they use the fake leg. Yeah, that is a banger. Oh, it's wow. It's one of my favorite matches. Ever. God, whose fake leg was it? It was. It was a uh, uh, oh, Mad Dog with Sean. I want to. Yes, say. Mad oh, Dog. Right. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was, it was I, Mad Dog. I, I know. Fantastic. I, as soon as I would hear it, I knew. Yeah. Little, 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 I just want to yeah. watch these first six that don't have like actual pay-per-view posters. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like they're all the same. They're all the same uh, picture for them in this thing. Yeah, your favorite superstars in action. It's like, wow, wow. That's incredible. Wow. Just does anyone, wow. Does anyone want to know what the first in your house match was? I think I can find out in two seconds. I, I have it up. I okay. Have it up. What was the first okay. one ever? The first one ever. What? Bret Hart versus Hakushi. What? Nice. <laughs> it's probably a pretty good match. Yeah. Yeah, it was... Uh, the second longest match on the show. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and that's only because actually it was the longest match officially on the show. The other uh, match was a dark match. It's just, it's so random. Was that it, they, they, like, I'm seeing like uh, stills from the promos. Oh, this is where they had the hotline. Cause I'm like, why mm -hmm. is it just a WWF superstars logo? But it's like a WWF superstars, like hotline lounge or something. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. Okay. Well, this is a game. Well, it's probably around the time where Shawn Michaels was pretending to use the internet. This is right in the middle of my, like you, Potter, the I don't have cable and don't know what's happening in a wrestling phase. 
Yeah. So like uh, so much is still this is still like great uh, and new to me. So man, I I really need to dive into that kind of stuff. Uh, so anyways, guys, other than early in your house trivia, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Um, sort I did learn something. Mm-hmm. There you go. I learned the exchange rate on the authors of pain is one Austin theory. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, you see the authors of pain only wrote one book. Austin theory goes all day. So that that's tracks. If you insist, <laughs> I think that's I, I I joked that they put him in that group so that Seth would look more energetic and charismatic. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm being a jerk to both wow. of them, so I'm gonna stop there. Wow. Well, I, I thought they just put theory with him so Seth would know like to be a father. <laughs> oh, because theory's a child. <laughs> He's a young, he he's a young boy. Is it the he's version? Boy. Is it the season of the Flash where where his daughter comes back to hang out with him before he, before <laughs> she was born? Yes. Well, that would be sure. something else. Oh my God! Theory was born in 1997. Yeah. Yep. Don't even look at that stuff. Oh, no. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Uh, they're all they're wrestle babies. Down. All wrestle babies. Yep. Uh, you, all right. Do you know what ha- Do you know what happened? Almost a month after Austin Theory was born, hmm. Stone Cold stunned Vince McMahon. Ah. <laughs> ah. And the only reason I it. the only reason I remember that was because it was on my mom's birthday and I couldn't watch Raw live that night. <laughs> yeah, like like Austin Theory was born. Cactus Jack came to WWF. <laughs> yeah, that's that's literally what happened right after yeah. he was yeah. born. Like. Oh boy! Oh boy! It it was, uh, Podner. What'd you learn from wrestling this week? <laughs> uh, well, uh, a couple things. But uh, first thing that popped in my head was CCW or a bunch of <clears throat> learned that. <laughs> but besides that, mm-hmm. uh, Ruth noticed that Dolly um, on Twitter, known as Lola, put up uh, ECW reviews mm-hmm. <laughs> from the TNN days, and she said. Was she even born when these shows were on? She was like, I think hard no, hard no. She was around a year old. That's a hard pass on that. I I thought it was funny. She said she was gonna start reviewing old ECW. I'm like, oh, that's great. She's gonna, you know, watch Terry Funk. And she's like, so I'm watching ECW on TNN. I'm like, oh, no, no, you're, oh, oh, honey, I was, I was was really the death of ECW. Like, like, I was hoping you're watching the death of her. She's, she's, she's she's enjoying it. I'm glad she's enjoying it. Yeah, you know, you want to watch the old ECW? You got to go wait. You got to find like Surfer Ray Odyssey. You want to watch some real ECW? (laughs) You got to go back. And see like where it comes from, and then see it rise up. That's and, what, and you that's have to watch it on a DVD, on a DVDR that you got from a, a Steel City Con on, on a spindle, because you can't watch the <laughs> WWE Network versions because the music is so badly overwritten. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. so yeah. bad. You, you need to start when Tommy Dreamer looked like Randy Orton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if, <laughs> if Tommy, if Tommy Dreamer isn't wearing suspenders shirtless, <laughs> you need to go back further. <laughs> if Taz doesn't look like Buddy Murphy, you haven't gone back. <laughs> if well, I'm trying no, to give me one like more, give me one more, give me one more. So oh many God, more of these. What was, name? what was the what was the backstage interview guy? With if Chris glasses? Candido's alive, you you have the oh, best. Oh, oh. Stop it! I mean, it, it's real. Like you should at least start when Chris Candido was there. Yeah, if there aren't, check out Chris I mean, if there aren't yeah. two women named Tammy, you haven't gone that far enough. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, bad Mike, what'd you learn? I learned that MJF doesn't know how to do memes properly. <laughs> so, so MJF is trying to because I. Spoiler alert, full disclosure, I don't like MJF. I don't think he's a very good heel. I think he's a mediocre wrestler at best. He can't even do heel memes properly. He needs to take a social media class from Becky Lynch. Um, He photoshopped a picture of him and Marco Stunt on the cover of the movie Big Daddy by Adam Sandler. Now, I'm not sure if this is just because Big Daddy was running on Comedy Central all weekend and he had it in his brain. But uh, he he said he was going to be Marco's daddy. And I'm like, 
sir, you didn't watch the movie because Marco Stunt's dad in this case would be Jon Stewart. And in this case, if that's the point you're trying to make, Jon Stewart's going to hit you with a steel chair. Because <laughs> he's a John Cena fan. He's definitely not an MJF fan. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh yeah, boy. That was what I learned. I learned I want a ramp when I film wrestling. Because mm-hmm. I, I want I want that mobility on the wrestling on like the over the rope kind of situation. Because I, I don't trust indie wrestling to stand on the rope. I I did do that in the cage the one time and that was a very special occasion. Uh, no, I it was that was kind of a, I was kind of you know, take a note of that um during the uh our homework assignment from uh, Clash of the Champions uh, in 1993. So, um, you missed the ramp days. I mean, it's a little awkward, I guess, a little bit. But um, like, I, I, I think the ramp probably hurts more. Yes, doing things on the ramp is a problem, but presentation, I, 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 I kind of enjoy that. We had a ramp when we did the uh, lucha thing across the street. Like, they built a ramp out of um pallets. It was amazing, and a lot sturdier than I expected. Uh, so <laughs> I mean, we didn't stand on it for our thing. It wasn't wide enough for that. Uh, but it was, uh, you know, seemed like a, it, it was a nice presentation. It was a really cool to shoot up at the everybody. And, um, but, uh, yeah, I, I kind of missed that or like having the, and I don't know if it was WCW or Chikara where they had like kind of a, they had a platform by one uh, corner. WC, WCW did that. ECW also did that. Thank you. Thank you. So like, I, I like that. I don't know. Just, I'm always looking for different angles to, you know, not doing the same thing all the time. So I that, that I have wrestling the film. Ah. Okay, Sorry. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm hey, fine. Sorg. Well, let me Sorg. put the mask on. Sorg, again. Alex learned that we might be getting Lucha Underground back. Yeah, he's been going on, but he's been talking about this in the in the in the group, and 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 we've been trying to. I, I, so uh, he says that he says that Lucha El Rey, or let's say El Rey Network Basically, lost Rey the licensing. Lost the license. MGM owns it, and they could go forward with making more Lucha Underground somewhere else. Oh. Uh. Mm-hmm. I, I, all your players. I'm not, I'm are, not sure I'm ready. To, I'm not. I'm not sure I want that. No. Yeah. No. See, here's what I do want. Here, here's what I want, and I'll say this: make a Lucha Underground movie. Make a movie. Even then, you're missing so many uh, um, key players. No, no. But Matt, Matt, mm. you make a prequel. <gasps> you do a prequel with Antonio Cueto. Hmm. Because then you can make up whoever you want. That's true. And I mean, you have to kind of like the only part, and the only other entry point you can have fucking Aerostar in it. That's true. Because he's a time traveling motherfucker. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Love it. That's what I want. I want. I want get get uh Gil, get our boy Gil to play Antonio Cueto. I want him to have a bouncing little baby boy. That he brings with him to these shows, mm-hmm. and it's 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 basically he's just learning. He's learning the trade. He's learning the trade, Make and he sees everything that his dad is doing. And his dad runs a pretty tight ship, but young Dario doesn't like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh huh. I'm telling you, that's what I want. I want Lucha Underground the prequel. That's what I want. And plus, you can get Katrina. Mm-hmm. Why not? She doesn't she, age. She, nope, she doesn't age. Nope, and she's not. And she's not signed anywhere. Nope. And also, you can you can you can get why Antonio Cueto is able to run all these violent shows without any reprisal from police. Mm-hmm. Like I, this is what I want. I want them to layer in that backstory. I want no. the prequel to Lucha. I mean, I do have an answer to that. Have you visited Boyle Heights? Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> but, and plus, guess who else can be in it? Because we don't know what he is. He could be an ageless wonder. Bad news, Barrett. Why True. can't he be in it? Yep. He could be a rival promoter for Antonio Cueto. He he could be Antonio Cueto's star champion. Mm-hmm. We don't know. Mm-hmm. Why not? Like that's what I want. I want a Lucha Underground prequel. Mm. Fucking it. a. I love it. Maybe uh, they'll team up with Billy Corgan and they'll just uh, use that NWA power since uh, and and do the thing. That could be nice. I mean, they, they, again, they have a lot of those guys there too, so I think it makes sense. Oh, jeez, 
good plans. You know, the only thing more, the only thing almost as difficult as getting pro wrestling back is getting movie and television production back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but right now we got hurdles all over the place. Obviously. Right now they'd be in the script planning phase, <clears throat> so it's fine. Uh, you know what? If, if someone said, Matt, here's some new Lucha Underground content, I would consume that. Mm-hmm. So, I don't care if everybody does. I, it from I their... would ask where it came from. I just I would consume. I don't so. care if they do a version of Lucha Underground where everybody's filming part of it from their home, like they do Fraggle Rock. Mm-hmm. Also delightful. Watch that. Um, also, um, Tina Tina learned that Matt Stryker is going to be on a Bachelor type reality show on Fox. Mm-hmm. Um, I saw the trailer. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. I don't think uh, it's gonna end well. It is unsettling. Oh. It's the 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 premise of the show is that there is a, a young woman on there who wants to be pregnant by the end of the year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is the quote unquote prize. <laughs> so um yeah. That that that's something. That's Fox. <clears throat> well, you know, that, that's um, a lead into SmackDown if I've ever seen one. <laughs> reality TV is the new work. So, uh, <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. it's all in good fun, Sorg. Guys, this has been in good fun. There's thank so you so much going on. Thank you, Dutters, for dropping in. Please go check out the the Facebook pages for a Derek Direction and PB Smooth. And again. That uh, bit.ly link is, uh, I believe that is bit.ly slash uh, uh, airbike for dutters with the letter, number four. We'll have that linked in the show notes, of course, and all of our social medias. Uh, thank you, Dave Potter, for joining us again. Tell them what you do in the podcast realm, sir. Sure. Uh, well, the, uh, the my main podcast I'm on is the Tiny Shutter podcast where we talk about iPhone photography and... Uh, both the technical and just in terms of general taking photos. Um, and I post a lot of my uh, photography related things on both Instagram and Twitter as prof pod. Uh, the Twitter has a lot more other things on it. Uh, so especially when I get pissed off at the news, I tend just to rant on Twitter versus the Instagram, which is just more of the nicer photos. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Sorry for that Lefisto in the background. I was queuing something up for after the show. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm catching up on the news. Uh, uh, most, most, most of the time, I'd rather watch her than me anyway. So but- <laughs> <laughs> Can't blame you there. Can't blame you there. <laughs> uh, mainstream. Matt, you have some other podcast stuff you're doing. Listen to your parents. Live stream Thursday night. It's our fantastic 10th episode celebration Woo! sword. i searching my house for balloons. We'll see if we have some. <laughs> you should ask Oscar and Kyrie saying they probably have plenty left over. Oh, <laughs> the whole, like, we don't have to pay for a venue went into Party City budget for those balloons. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> and Mad Mike 4883 on the Twitters? Uh, TUBI.TV. Go to Lucha Underground and watch why a prequel would be a great fucking mm-hmm. idea. Catch up on the lore. Hell, hell do a six part prequel on all the tribes. And uh, we'll give a shout out since he's in the chat room, been hanging out with us all night. Alex Miller says, if you want to watch, uh, he gets into the update about the uh, the Lucha Underground situation on his podcast is called Mask, Mats, and Mayhem. Uh, if you want to go check that out. And uh, of course, please go check out everything. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, the Jagoff show is done. We, 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 we did our series order. Of course, check out our friends Fight Underground doing the uh, Council of Fighters on uh, Wednesday at 10 p.m. there. Uh, recently, over this past weekend, there was a Prospect Pro Wrestling watch along. You can go back and check out. Uh, it was a lot of fun, very interesting. One of our participants was live from a strip joint. No lie. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave you. Um, why, why, why am I hearing sounds? What, what is happening? Um, uh, no, no, dude, sorry, dude, just, I'm, just, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm just picturing strip joints in the time of Corona. Mm. How do you do a socially distant lap dance? It'd be amazing. How it'd be amazing where you put the mask. Uh, anyways. <laughs> uh, also, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Check out our friends RWA. 
uh, children are fighting grown-ups. Uh, that's the thing that's going to be happening over there. And uh, <laughs> you can't over there. <laughs> He's just losing his shit. Oh, so much great stuff, Kevin, on, uh, coming on. Uh, check it all out. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. wait.